fine. Okay, Shetlandia. Um, one of the most eastern counties of the continent, Chuplandia is an unassuming but bustling haven for trade and commerce. Access to the ocean via port is in contrast to the apparent sleepiness of many towns and farmsteads dotted about the county. A series of mines lay to the north, the industrial heartlands of the region. A constant stream of horse-drawn wagons lined the roadways between the port and the mines, intermingled with citizens plying their market town trades. Merchants sailing vessels come and go from the port at all hours, underlining how self-sufficient and affluent Choplandia has become over the past century. Um, we'll be focused in on East Havervale. So a dozen miles inland from the port, East Havervale is home to some of the magnets of industry in Choplandia. Rare goods inevitably find their way through the town and the southernmost tip of Chublandian mines intrude into the north of the town limits, the foothills of mountains busy with the comings and goings of the minor dwarfs. A peaceful place to live over the last few de decades has attracted wealth, and is now seen as one of the most desirable places to live in the country. Helped, not unsubstantially, by farming subsidies from the continent's central government, arts, crafts, and fine diming have all become somewhat of a specialty in East Haverville, and the fickle artisan life sits neatly in lockstep with more traditional industry. Um, Frost, can I get you to introduce your character? Okay. So my character is named Sirocco, and he's an heir Janassi. And uh, you want the whole backstory? You can give a brief backstory or as much as you want to disclose. So, you want to keep some stuff secret? I was a famous chef uh, long ago, a famous chef. And then some bad stuff happened. And I went to jail. <laughs> then I got out of jail. And, uh, and uh, I'm a rogue. I uh, steal stuff. That's me, Sirocco. Okay. Um,. A small disheveled tavern built from hewn stone on the edge of town with a weathered mossier exterior and a crooked sign glistening by the light of a single flickering lamp. A trail of smoke rises lazily into the cool and moist air from a short chimney on the slate roof of the tavern. Inside, a large fireplace spits and crackles against the cozy, warm atmosphere, offset by an old smell of burnt wood, stale tobacco smoke, and years of spilt beer. There are several large wooden tables, and at the largest is a group of half-orcs, clad in crudely crafted gear and animal skins. They're loud and obviously intoxicated. The bartender is a grisly-looking gnome, busy scratching numbers into a leather-bound ledger set in the bar. Um, Sirocco? Yes? Be, you're, you're just relaxing. You're chilling in the tavern, okay? Okay. Enters in Rogar. What do we see of Rogar? Who's Rogar? I am Rogar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, who's, who's <laughs> describe your character. Oh, uh, yeah, I am Rogar. I am a warlock. And uh, so basically, <laughs> I was in this academy. What was it called against you? I'm sorry. Uh, our, uh, um, our the warlock Cossack Order. Group. Yeah, the Cosmic Order. And I happened to find a, a, a spell book in our library that was like locked and chained. It was like a forbidden book. And I uh, I decided to uh, to take it. And it was illegal, so they were about to kill me. So I opened up the book, and I just signed a pack with this, this uh, demon. That was part of the, you know, the spells in the book. And he made, he said, you know, I'll save your life if you, you know, make a pact with me. So I did it. And I killed everybody. Now I got all this power, <laughs> but I'm kind of under the sub submissive force of this demon. But I have his powers. And now I'm, I'm going rogue. Because I'm Rogar. Yeah. 
Um, following Grogar, our dragonborn warlock, is Baron. Baron is a dwarf whose entire life has been turned upside down. He believed in law and order and good and honest people. Until the person that he trusted, he idolized most, has turned out to be the very worst kind of person, the absolute scum of the earth. And not only that, but it's cost him, discovering this alone has cost him his entire life. All the people that he loved, all of the things that he knew, he's been cast out and had indeed to flee. But he doesn't want to leave it there. Fresh, so. fresh Prince of Bairn. Fresh Prince of Bairn Air. That's his, correct. his life got turned flip side upside down. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And so now he's searching for some trustworthy people, if there are any, who can perhaps help him with what he wants to do, and he can help them with what they want to do. And everyone can go home happy, maybe. Or maybe not. Um, the bartender uh, looks up at you two as you enter through the door that swings shut behind you. He nods once as a vague greeting, and he dives back into um, his ledger, hastily writing in another row of numbers below the dozens already there. Uh, you see above the bar um, the tavern name, Half Mast Tavern. Um, <laughs> there's plenty of seating. Very good. Um Baron and Drogar, what are you what are you up to? I'm sorry, I'm just in I'm in shock. The the place is called Half Mast Tavern. Yeah, it's you know, half a ship mast. Oh that's of what course. they built it around. Yeah. Yeah, what else would it be that how how terrible of me to assume otherwise? Oh well, I'm looking around trying to find Somebody somewhere who looks capable, at least. I don't trust anyone. But if you can find someone capable, at least that's the start of it. Okay. Um, Sirocco, so you're, you're sitting in this tavern. You're just relaxing, chilling, right? You see this dragonborn mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this dwarf walk through. Um, everybody else is in uh, kind of a intoxicated state, um, except for these two newcomers. Um, do you signal towards them? Do you do you interact? Do you ignore them? Are you sulking in the corner by yourself? Uh, I will. I'll take notice of them. I clearly notice them, but uh, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. So maybe I'll. I won't let them know I'm I'm paying attention to them, but I'll spend the rest of the time paying paying attention to them. Okay. Um, Sirocco, a wiry shrewd half-elf approaches you. You recognize him to be Charlie. Um, he has physical strength beyond his modest physique. He wears a black shirt that's too small for him, and his gut kind of pokes out of this dirty white jacket. Um, he has long silver hair and thick dreadlocks, and he has piercing sky blue eyes. He has a clever face, chiseled features, and high cheekbones that wear the marks of recent great stress. Sirocco, mm -hmm. I got a job mm -hmm. for us. Just just came in from the Thieves' Guild, but we need a crew. Uh, okay, then I'll say, Hi, Charlie. Tell me about this job. All you need to know is we're going to make a lot of money. But I don't want to discuss it. Ah, prying ears, gestures at the intoxicated half works mm, let's say okay <laughs> so all right all right let's go somewhere quiet then charlie get your man we're out of here i gesture um, i gesture to to the dwarf baron i find myself with this he's just gesturing at me who's who's this <laughs> who are you ah uh, <laughs> me are you talking to me who are you? Yeah. Say hi, dwarf. My name is Sirocco, but you can call me Sir.
I'll be doing no no such thing, no such thing at all. I uh... first you'll tell me why you're gesturing at me. Who are, who are you? Why are you why are you pointing me like this? I don't know you. Who's that man? Okay, so then I will. I'm, I'm Charlie. I will uh, take uh, take Charlie and say, "Hi, don't worry about him. He doesn't want the money." And I'll I'll start walking out of the bar with with Charlie, and I'll ignore Ralgar for now. Okay, uh, Charlie looks back and he's like, "No money." Um, what about what about Rogar? What are you up to, Rogar? You see this interaction? It's right before you. You just entered with the dwarf. Yeah, I just stumbled in, and oh, I should be uh, acting. Um, I I see these these two gentlemen, and it looks like they're plotting something. Like they need assistance, and I too, since I am now a rogue, I need companions on my travels. So I'm seeing if they're worthy enough to venture out with me into the world. So I think I might aid them. Okay. Um, so for now, uh, Charlie, Sirocco, and Rogar begin ascending the steps. Um, there's plenty of seating in the bar, um, or you can find a table by yourself, uh, Baron. Um, I want to follow along and listen in. Okay. Are you going to be stealthy? I'm going to try and be stealthy. Give me, give me a stealth roll. All righty. Let's see. We've got we've got three. Okay. Um, give me a perception roll as well. All righty. Nineteen. Okay. Um, Charlie leads leads Sirocco and Roka. Are you two? He leads you up. Uh, he has a private room. Um, it's surprisingly large and clean. It's a spacious private bedroom, um, which is like in stark contrast to the ramshackle and disheveled tavern below. Um, there's a huge four-poster bed, uh, and you see strewn about um, the luxurious red velvet sheets. Um, there's a bunch of expensive-looking artwork. Um, there's a lot of wooden ornaments on the shelves, and there's a large writing desk. You see rolled up blueprints, um, hand-drawn uh, prints and sketches, and it's just like this kind of cluttery mess. It leads you guys in. Um, Charlie looks at you, Sirocco. It's a heist. Words come in through the Thieves Guild. But this is a big one. Um, Baron, you can hear through the wall. Okay. But as as Charlie says, it's a big one. He kind of like kicks his foot through the door and opens it. Kind of gestures you inside. You too, out there. Let's go over the details. I feel like I'm being I'm being roped into thievery. <laughs> <sighs> By people I don't know. They look capable enough. Well. For now, I'm going to settle in and go along with things. If it seems like it's a bad idea, then we can always kill everyone and everything will be fine. So, okay. Um, I'm sure it won't come to that. Certainly. They can't be that bad. Certainly. Sirocco is Lord Sykar Oakbottom. He plans to sell his prized piece, the Feshton Alexandrite. Oh my gosh, it's going to be worth at least 10,000 gold. This is the big one. 10,000 gold, you say, Charlie. Did I hear you right? 10,000 gold. I look at Ralgar. Gosh, I'm going to retire. And say, 10,000 gold, Ralgar. That's your name, I know it. How do you know my name? I say, 10,000 gold, Ralgar. Uh, and then I say, I was guessing. My name is Sirocco, <laughs> as I said earlier. 10,000 gold. Are you some kind of sorcerer? I, I am a, I am a, yes. Yes, I am. Ralgar. <laughs> you, you seem to have some kind of 
power. Oh. Do you mind teaming up with me? I could use this money for my travels. I, uh, Chio, can I, uh, can I say power, you say? And then, uh, can I levitate him? Can you levitate? No. <laughs> can I levitate him? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Do I have to You're roll or anything? Your... Yeah, I'm going to use I'm gonna my... I'm going to blast you, bro. I'm going to blast you. <laughs> no, no, you can just, you can just do it. Oh, I just do it? I just levitate. Yeah, yeah. Then I what levitate him, there? and I say, da, da. I'm rolling the D20. I'm smacked on. What? I got an eight. Blast him. That's okay. blast. Uh, what's your you don't AC? Do this. What's my AC? Uh, can I jump in the way? So... I think uh, these two, these two are, these two have potential. They're crazy, but they have potential. I want to jump in the way of this blast. I can take. But it's, it's not going to hit settle me. this down. It's, it, he still jumps. It's okay. Okay. All right. Um, Rogar, you you let loose an an eldritch blast. Um, it looks like it's going far off center. It's going to miss him completely. However, uh, Baron, our our dwarf, uh, jumps in at the last moment, taking the hit. Can you get damage? Do not put your hands on me, you fool. <laughs> Can you roll the damage on that? <laughs> oh, who, me? Uh, yeah. Is that a You're d20? Uh. Um, no, it would be, I believe it's 1d8. A d8. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. Um, in Fantasy Grounds, you can pull up your character sheet, and it'll just tell you like what, what rolls or what. I got a, a 6. Okay. Uh, Baron, you, you jump in the way of this blast. Um, you fall backwards, and you kind of hear, like, everything settles down below you. The tavern kind of goes quiet for a second. Um, and then it kind of resumes. You hear the loud chatter below. Um, but you are visibly cinched. You're, you take six points of damage. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I need a breather. After Me that, I need meanwhile, to Rogar, but... you are you are levitating in this room. So, release me now, uh, Surak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look what you did, Rogar! I was just having a bit of fun. Me, <laughs> both of you, calm down. I I look at uh, Bear, and, and I I I have a, a sad look, and and you know I regret. <laughs> Causing him to get singed, so I lower Ralgar down slowly, and I say, 10,000 gold. <laughs> we could use that for good. Doesn't need to be used for whatever nonsense you've got planned for it, but we can, we can split it. Aye, lad, we can split it. I'm in agreement with this, for we, I do need the money, the gold. Whatever you guys do, I'm going to retire. I've been waiting a long time for something like this to pass. Now look, and each hands hands you each a flyer. The flyer is uh, for a gala event at Lord Sykar's um, estate. Shows that it's catered in house by Chef Tea Leaf. Entertainment will be provided by the Froggy mm. Bottoms Boys. Froggy Bottoms and... Boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, security will be provided by the Tony Squawk Security. Um, <laughs> what? They're great. Um, Lord Sykar, he's planning on selling this at the gala. The wealthiest merchants around will be there, and it's just in two days. Now, through connections, I've gotten us two tickets, but I like this is going to take all four of us. We got two days to figure something out. What time is it now? Um, maybe early, early evening. Mm. It's a bit late to go out, but... Maybe we should scope out the place. Um, what I propose is tomorrow, daytime, we go do a little investigation, you know, maybe there's a window we can prop open maybe uh i mean baron you're looking pretty strong maybe you could uh work security who knows but you want me to get have, employed there we have two days <laughs> to figure out and this is the biggest heist i've seen in the last 10 years easy well i 
I don't have any better plan. If you think it's a good idea, then I'll go with it. Um, okay. What um, do we need to do? You should come up with a plan. <laughs> I need to know you guys' strengths and weaknesses, and we can go from there. Say, oh boy, oh, you know mine. And I give him a wink. I'm about to blast him again. <laughs> I'm, <rolling. laughs> no, <just> <laughs> I'm not going to jump in the way again. I, I, I'm already regretting uh, it the first time. <sighs> but fine. I'm, I, can, I can handle any violence. If there's something that needs putting down, then we can do it. Violence, he says. Then I look at Charlie and say, 10,000 gold. <laughs> He's fixated. Say, all right, boys, let's go and, and, and scope out the place. We'll decide tomorrow. Okay. Um, throughout the night, uh, Baron, um, long rest, you completely restore your hit points. Um, Sirocco, you get your, your spell back. Um, is how long rests work. So throughout the night, you guys can can find a room or, or camp out in Charlie's room. Um, the next morning, um, it's quiet in the tavern. Um, the sun wakes you up. Uh, the sun wakes you up coming through your window. Um, Charlie's already getting ready. Uh, and he kind of like nudges you, Sirocco, with his foot. It's, it's time to go. Hi, much time to prep. Let's let's go. You, you woke me up, thinking about me lucky charms. Ten thousand good. Ten thousand good. <laughs> Do I have any chance of waking up at all over hearing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You just hear them going on about ten thousand gold. <laughs> Haunts my dreams. How much uh, gold do we have, Shio? Oh, yeah. Uh, you have 10 gold each. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. 10,000. That is a lot. Yeah, 10,000. <laughs> 10, <laughs> <laughs> how much was it? How, how, how many thousand gold was it again? 10,000 gold. <laughs> this fool Sirocco was singing 10,000 gold in his sleep last night as I watched over you too <laughs> <laughs> you, that's, that's you didn't, a little bit creepy, you didn't man. sleep no nah, i don't sleep he doesn't sleep i'm a nocturnal oh. night I, yeah i just i just nap occasionally but during the night i stay up and prowl over i mm. can cast a a demon spell to to watch over us and i'll just be chilling oh, okay <laughs> how lucky we are to have your algar I'm not sure lucky is the word. I grin. I grin at Dave. At, uh, at Baron. Well, maybe it'll work out. But I'm not so comfortable with demons watching over me. Just don't piss me off, mate. <laughs> <sighs> this um... is going to be a long journey. So Char Charlie leads you guys. He leads you guys down downstairs the tavern is um empty the bartender kind of looks at you guys and scribbles something in his ledger um getting to the oak bottom estate is pretty easy um it's the nicest place in the town um as you guys approach in front of you is a roughly paved driveway um there's cracked stone tiles worn from years of passage of heavy carriages and metal shod horses at the end of the drive is a large red brick house. It's adorned with ornate windows and railed balconies on the wings. An imposing, hefty wooden door sits at the center, and steps leading up to it adorned with potter, potted green shrubs. Behind the manor house is a bustling farmstead with strangely well-dressed peasants tending to crops and animals, a small windmill lazily spinning in the warm breeze. Smoke curls from the chimney of adjacent buildings, also built in red brick, in contrast to the vivid green of the grass and golden crops surrounding them. 
A faint smell of freshly baking bread envelops the whole area, mixed with newly cut grass from the sides of the driveway to the house and the farmland. As you set off down the driveway, a group of stout, armed men leave the front door of the manor house. They're chattering excitedly about security as they pass. They glance suspiciously at the group, and they make their way up the large iron cellar door. I want to ask those peasants about their clothes. Something seems off. Okay, so you want to like? Can, can we just... approach? Yeah, you guys can can leave the path and go up to the field. I think we should. What do you say? I take your right. Some things. Uh, Baron. Felgar. Baron. I agree, Baron. Something seems off. Um. As you, you approach, one of them kind of looks up. Hello, sirs. How can I help you? I say, hello. He like, he like stops. What are you wearing? He like stops <laughs> raking the ground and kind of leans up on it. Say, so, hang, hang on, hang on. Just, just my clothes? I sir? just wanted to say those are, those are fine clothes. Where, where did you get them? I mean, Lord Saika pays as well. Best job in town. Lord Saika, you say? Lord Saika. Tell me about this Lord Saika. He, uh, he owns the manor. The manor, you say? What, what manor are you talking about? Uh, the, the house. The, that, that house. Does he point? He points at the brick, brick building behind you. Ah, the brick house. You say, what, what's in that brick house? That's Lord Sykar's manor. So take us I there. I sense a strange aura around this this house. Really? I'd like to ask them a couple of more questions, okay. if we can. So they pay they pay you really well, but oh, you've got to be doing something to earn it. What what are you doing? I don't Why? believe you're just looking after things. Got to be a bit well, more, right? Hands. Yeah, I tend, I tend with livestock. I brush the horses in the morning. I make sure the cows are let out to pasture. Um, just too far. Let hands. me put this another way. Are you paid to not do something? Maybe not see something? Not hear something? I can't disclose... I don't know what you're talking about. Kind of shies away. I say, know something. do you want to be? Aaron, there's something. And I unzip my there's pants. There's something going on here. And I can't describe it, but it's fishy. I mean, technically, that's that's describing it. But okay. <laughs> Can I blast him too? No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> You've got um, a temper. You've got a temper. Calm down. <laughs> you don't know my story, Burn. Okay, I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and break him up. I'm gonna get in the middle and be like, boys, boys, boys. Ten thousand gold. I whisper it so You're that right. other guy You're can't right. hear it. We we should we should press this a little bit. I mean, well we could uh, we could squeeze it out of him, maybe. <laughs> I walk um, up to him, grab his arm, give him, give him yeah, a squeeze. All right, can I just go to that person we just talked to and just like threaten them to tell us everything they know? Oh boy! Story. Yeah. So, <laughs> so as you look around, uh, there's there's plenty of people coming and going from the manor. Um, out in the field, there's probably at least a dozen farmhands. Um, so you guys have just approached one of them, closest one. Um, you guys are out. It's the middle of the day. Busy manor. Busy farmstead, and you're just. I'm just double checking. You're just gonna go up and, and threaten him. Yeah, mm, maybe pick we him could up. Uh, lure okay. him over somewhere. <laughs> okay. You guys are fucking yeah. dead, man. I'll take care of this. <laughs> no, no, no. I walk over to the to the field. <laughs> I grab this man. I pick him up into the air. Tell me what you know. And I summon uh, a demon. I will devour you right now. What? <laughs> Do not tell me. Give, give me a give me a strength check. Let's lift him up. And yeah, right. you can give me 
you can give me intimidation with advantage. Okay. Let's see. I got a three, man. <laughs> okay, so you, you grab him by the cuffs, you, you go to lift him. Um you slip though. Like his I his, slip his okay. yeah, he's got like nice, <laughs> like fine like twelve thousand thread cotton shirt. You just you know, <laughs> drop him. Um but give me with advantage intimidation. Uh my int is zero. So yeah, so just right. you'll yeah. roll you'll roll uh oh, no, twice, roll. twice. And then you'll give me the higher okay. number. Oh, uh eighteen. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. You can roll again and take the higher number. Okay. You might get a crit. Uh five. Um he kind of like you can kind of see the fear swell up in his eyes. Look, 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 I'm just I'm just I'm just doing my job. I'm just all all I know is Sometimes some farmhands disappear. But that's all I know. I don't, I, I don't know what Lord Sykar does. I just know that sometimes there's weird disappearances. Then I, okay, I'm going to walk up to him. I'm guessing he's still in Ralgar's arms. Yeah. Loving embrace. That is loving embrace. Disappear to where, lad? I, I don't know. They just... Some can I be looking people will come in at night and and the next morning we we don't know where they've gone <gasps> then I look at Baron and I say, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Baron? What are you thinking about <laughs> <laughs> no i uh I look and I say, okay, I say, all right, you're holding back, aren't you? You're trying to protect someone, aren't you? And then I, uh, I maybe gestured a lot to to Ralgar to squeeze a bit harder. I can do that. Crossing his esophagus, the genie's <laughs> drooling. So don't kill him. How's the? Uh, is there no crowd? Anything like this going on? Are we drawing a bit more um, attention? So you've thing? you've uh, garnered the attention of some of the farmhands. They're kind of pointing at you and like whispering. Um, uh, you can see far off on the distance on the road um, the group of uh, people going on about security. They kind of like stopped and they're just like eyeballing you guys from like <laughs> like 300 feet off. Okay. Uh, can we lie to the crowd? Can I lie to the crowd and just assure them everything is fine? Yeah. The demon, There's the demon behind you. Here. Move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a giant give me, demon. Uh, give me a persuasion. <laughs> well, okay. What are you gonna? Right. Okay. So these people see you guys like you're roughing up this farmhands. You're going to town on them. What are you gonna say to them that's gonna calm them down? All of I'm you will say... suffer the same no. fate. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, calm down. This is fine. This man. He's a criminal. We've, we've been chasing him for, for months, for months. He's been posing. You may think you know him. You may think you know him. He's not who you think he is. Leave this to us and don't worry. Everyone, you're safe now. I do a little dance in the background for effect. <laughs> okay, so give me, give me persuasion. Um, All right, let's go. Six plus one. <laughs> uh, they, they start booing you. Couple more oh, arrive. I'm. Yeah, hey, get off our lands. This is our lands. Okay, we need a different tag. Uh, if great. you don't all leave right now, oh god, I'm going to start cutting heads off from yeah. the front to the back. I'm Let's gonna, stop. I'm gonna like try and slip away, like just from the group and pretend <laughs> I'm one of the crowd. Chio, can I do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do we, do we, give me a stealth roll. What is my stealth? Yeah, I'm do, I'm gonna Wait, I'm gonna try and pretend I'm I'm not associated with you guys. Um, Sirocco, the pretend you're not associated, you and then this? and then pipe up in support. You yeah, can help us. I could. Uh, let's see. Where is my uh, thing? It's characters. Uh, no, not that. Um. Yeah. So click on character. Pull up your your character sheets, and it'll be under your skills tab. Skills. Right how come I cannot find skills worth life? 
It's on the right. There's like a bunch of little tabs. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so, so your name on the top left, and then you get skills. Your, yeah. Okay, my stealth is plus six. So I roll a d20 plus six. Okay. I got a 20. You got a 20. I got a 20. Hey, you, uh, you, you slink off. Um, nobody takes notice at all. Um, you kind of get pushed into the crowd. They start raising pitchforks. Um, <laughs> stop harassing us. We'll call the guard. No, uh, we don't need to harass. Can I, can I wait like a couple minutes and say, yeah. hi, <laughs> I know him. And then pause. He's the scourge of Timothy town. And I point, uh, point to the, pointing to? point to the guy that they're like, or trying to artificially arrest. Give me, yeah. give me a uh, persuasion. Oh God, uh, persuasion is. Um, you can do it with. You, Come you on, can it with we need you now. Plus three. Yeah, I, need I, have you. A, I have a plus three, so I get to roll twice, right? Yep. Okay, I got a three. That's not gonna work. I got a four. <laughs> you guys are fucked. <laughs> The the skirt the skirt of what what did he say what did he say? Timothy I Town, I yell. I I think he's making it up. I think. Fuck, is he one of them? Oh, is he one of them? God. <laughs> they point at you. They they turn their pitchfork against you. I say. It's on their side. <laughs> whoa 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 lads, listen. Okay. Listen, and then I point to, uh uh, Dave Baron Baron. I point. And I'm going to point off in the other direction. <laughs> and I'm going to say, everyone, look out! And point over there. And then I'm going to run over and I'm going to grab Sirocco and he's coming <laughs> under my arm. And Rogar, you and me and the man in your arm, we're out of here. Let's go. Uh, give me performance. Performance? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're like, you're, you're trying to get them to believe something over there. Okay. Got a five plus one. <laughs> okay. Wow, we. They're, they're not buying it. They're not buying yeah. it. Uh, oh, I'm gonna, sorry. I'm gonna have to shove my way through this crowd to to get Sirocco back. There's no choice. Um. So you you can grab Sirocco. You kind of pull him in. Uh. You you try to get like the oh look over there right what's going on over there they like look and they look back at you and they're they're, they're trying. They're trying to kidnap him. Tr call the guard. Call the guard. Kidnap me? They're trying to kidnap me. Is that what they're thinking? They're you, whoever the guy the the guy the, the guy first farmhand the guy you don't even know his name. Oh, not me. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying Muscus. to pull your ass out of there. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I, can I do something? So I'm going to. Can I? Is there anybody that people don't seem to like or anything? Uh, like just in the crowd, maybe someone looking. Oh. Not, not of, not of us. <laughs> Someone looking a little bit gross I think or we're something. The most unpopular. Yeah, people yeah. Here. There's like. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, um. There's kind of like a weird. Goblin weighed guy. It's like goblin -way. face is kind of deformed a little bit. He's kind of got like a look to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I. So what I do is I, I'm gonna levitate him. In the sky, really, really high. Not okay. not so high that he'll die, but I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be like, Hi, it's a demon. Look over there. It's a demon. And uh, I'm going to point to him. He's levitating. Look, run for your lives. He'll kill you. Okay. What happens? Give me... Actually, I'll, I'll just... I'm gonna roll intelligence. Intelligence. I have a. I have a zero. No, no. I'm gonna roll it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I got a ten. So give me, give me a performance or persuasion or intimidation. Uh, um, persuasion. I have plus three, so I'll do persuasion. You only have to beat a ten. I got a fifteen plus three. <laughs> okay. Ooh. They all turn. Um, this must be the demon. 
he's the demon. They all kind of like raise their pitchforks at him um, and kind of like <laughs> one starts like gathering hay and another one's like flicking his matches um, okay. <laughs> around this guy. So what These do you guys well prepared peasants? We uh, is this when we make our escape? Do we, do we leave now? Or we got the information needed from the dude, right? So I guess I uh, I th- the dude I'm holding, I throw him to the ground. Okay. And tell him to, to never speak of this again, or I will have my demon devour you. And then we take our exit. And we plan for the break in of this guy's house. Yeah. <laughs> He didn't Everyone do anything. Everyone knows our bad. faces now really, really well. We're gonna need disguises. The um, give me a perception check, somebody. Whoever wants to, whoever wants to go for it. I have I got plus this. five in perception. Go for it. Oh yeah, go. I only have plus two. So okay, ready. Eighteen plus five. So twenty-four. Okay. Um, you, you notice, uh, the, the Tony Squawk security group, they're like eyeballing you guys hard. Um, they've clearly seen all of this and they can recognize you and they turn and they keep on their way. Hmm. And I say, uh, I say, boys, I think they know who we are. What are we going to do? We, we've got to get a disguise. There's no choice. I agree with Byrne. I, uh, so, well, uh, where do we get these disguises from? Those clothes they were wearing look pretty good. But how are we going to get any? We're going to be peasants. <laughs> yeah, we've got to be peasants. Okay. Get some pitchforks. We can blend right in. Um. Uh, um Shio, don't I have like some spells like where I can grab people with my hands or something like that? Can I do that? Can I? Scoop up a couple of these dudes. You just what do you do? I mean, need outfits, man. Okay, yeah, sure. Just take them. <laughs> yeah, we didn't did everything else under the sun. Like, uh. <laughs> okay, you got you got uh, mage hands, which you could use yeah. to like lift up, but it's just like really light minor items. Like you can't lift a person with mage hands. I could. Okay. Could I take maybe one person under each arm? Or <laughs> you're gonna try to them? scoop people. Yeah, yeah I need these, to, these, these are like humans, so they're they're yeah, they're they pretty power heavy. above you. <laughs> yeah, but we're really strong. I'm really strong. Wait, they, okay, they so... power above us? No, no. Well, uh, I'm, I'm a dwarf. Yeah, Baron's oh, a dwarf. What he's the like heck? so. Oh, yeah. he's like four man. five. Are you oh, gonna? Uh, you were gonna carry me in your arms <laughs> and run away yeah, with absolutely. me? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll drag it's you along. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna drag you along with yeah, me. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, we need to find a way to, to lure a few of them away, and then we can knock them out and take their outfits. Are there any, like, stragglers in the crowd or something? Like, people that are not paying attention to the... to the floating demon men? Sorry, I must have been muted. Let me, let me clarify the scene. So you guys roll up, you guys pass the security, you go out into the field, you start harassing a guy, you draw a crowd... <laughs> You levitate <laughs> one after threatening them and convince oh. them that he's a demon. And now you're going to try to kidnap them on your escape. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just want to clarify. I just want to, you know, oh make God. sure I got all the details. We've got no, we've got no cover. We need cover. Um. <laughs> I, I think we should uh, find a little girl. Whoa. Give her a piece of gold and convince her to like lure one of these three of these people away. Huh? Oh, like a yeah. Yeah, they'll right. trust her. They'll like trust Mr. Mr. Girl. over here, somebody needs nice. help. And then, perfect. Perfect. We yeah. just need to tell we don't even need to tell her the truth. We can tell her exactly. that there's someone over around there, our friends in trouble. We need we need someone to come and get She'll some take help. the gold. Yes. We just give them three girls, one piece of gold each in different sections. Remember, we only have we'll ten get gold. We'll ten thousand back, but we're going to get ten thousand gold. Okay, right? so all right, okay. Yeah. and we can we like, can get these back afterwards. Exactly. Yeah, just pickpocket the girls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
I will let you do that, uh, Siraku. Mm-hmm. I do not feel comfortable. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm Malagar, the okay. demon holder. I'm not comfortable. You guys, you guys separate from the group. You notice, you notice Charlie kind of hanging about the doorway of the manor. Um, he's kind of like walking around the building, kind of checking, prodding here and there. Um, as you guys look around, there's there's no kids on the farmstead. It's all adults working. Um, there's We're certainly both. women, um, but you we can't. use sexual persuasion. <laughs> you sexual persuasion. Ah, okay. <laughs> Do it. I'm What's like, he got to roll? I'm, I take off my shirt. Mm-hmm. I'm covered in dragonborn <laughs> tattoos. Bro. Scales. You're a scaly boy. Yeah, yeah scales. freaking. You're a scaly boy. A packing. Uh, <laughs> I, can I dispel okay. a seducer or something? Like, how do I... uh, you don't got a spell seducer? Wait, uh, what are we going to do after can... that, though? Wait, what is it? I, that I don't know. You're uh, doing this, man. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm just staring with my mouth hanging open that my, my traveling companion has now just decided he's going to take off his clothes and walk out into the crowd. Okay, well, I didn't think this through very much. Um... You know what I say? I, I, I go to, I go to, <laughs> go to Baron. I say, hi, get your man. We're getting out of here. This is this is a failure. Agreed. Agreed. We've we've got to leave. This is this is to go right now. We're out of here. Quick, grab him. You grab one arm. I'll grab the other. And All we're right. running. I uh, I comply. Do we need a strength check for for the naked seductionist <laughs> dragon dragonborn? Yeah, Rogar, Rogar, Rogar. Are, you gonna, are you going to try to? Is he going to try and fight? <laughs> try to fight. I mean, yes, I resist. Wow! To fulfill my desires. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Yeah, resist this. Okay, uh, strength, strength checks against each other. So whoever gets okay. higher strength wins. Okay, but let's go. But we're we're two on one. So sh- do we get an advantage or anything? Yeah, I'll give you guys advantage. Okay. Okay. Uh, so is... just have one of you roll, um, I and the other one roll. roll. I've rolled a okay. seven, plus okay. a six. So you gotta roll again, Dave. Okay. Let's go. Because Soraka's there helping. Oh shit! I rolled a twelve. If that, I don't know if that helps or anything. Oh. Hmm? oh shit. I rolled. I rolled again and got a two. Oh, but I guess I had a seven. Didn't okay. I? Nice. So it doesn't override. So okay. six, six so you plus guys, seven. You guys managed to overpower Rogar. Um. <sighs> I guess each you of you fools! Are and you, you kind of like me. Away. I am Rogar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're Rogar now, and you'll be Rogar tomorrow, and you'll be Rogar with clothes on before we get home. <laughs> Come on. Um, you guys, as you guys pull Rogar away, Rogar, you see them kind of like constructing this, um, this large fire, and they're they're like roping this guy and like tying him down. <gasps> oh. What? Who is doing that? The peasants. The peasants. The, the guy that was levitating. No. No. They think he's possessed by a demon. Oh God. Oh God. Sirocco, this is your doing. Oh God. This, this is your doing. We. You let let him him what is this? Bl- but, okay. You know, I say, hey boys, we can't let him burn. It's your fault. <laughs> and then you're right. I. I you know what I do. To? I will, uh, can I, okay, you know, uh, yeah, is he being tied to a stake? Yeah, yeah, yep. Okay. Okay. Burn this, man. Can I, uh... I've got it. Okay. I'm gonna throw a hand axe hard enough to break the stake. If you miss, if you miss. I won't miss. I hit him between the eyes. Uh, (laughs) You miss. miss. I will not miss. You gotta trust, you gotta trust right. in my. You gotta game. roll. You gotta get a three, you. bro. Like, like. Yeah, give me, All give right. me a attack roll. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're throwing that hand axe. We're gonna, we're gonna get you free, Mister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my friend. I... Oh shit. <laughs> just, we're not getting this gold. We're done. Oh, it's God. over. Uh, I, I rolled a three. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a plus six. 
A nine. That's not bad. Okay, a nine. So you you throw this hand axe. It whizzes through the air and it sticks against the stake that he's getting tied to. And like, yeah, yeah, let's rip him apart and then burn him. <laughs> oh my god. You know what I'll do? Um, one of the peasants grabs the hand axe. No. Um, and and raises it above his head. I said, "Wait, wait!" And then I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point at like a sheep or something, <laughs> and say, 10,000 gold for that sheep," uh, and I'm, really hope to distract him. Oh no, God. don't, don't kill the, the sheep. Person with the freaking... Why? Not the sheep, man. The person trying to kill the dude. <laughs> All That's, right. They're not going after no sheep right now. Are you crazy? They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, are they gonna go after the sheep? Oh, we gotta blast them, bro. It's just it's the end of the line. Dave missed. He failed. We got to. How many of them are blast. there? Uh, there's probably about a dozen. A dozen. Okay, yeah, we can take a oh. dozen. So there's 11, we can't, 11 we can't guys. kill a dozen people because oh I missed. God. Because you told a lie? <laughs> Oh, it's like, my we, fault? Um, you oh missed the axe and he's can about... You I, gave I, him no, a weapon? We, we have to deceive him. Can I cast a spell to like, deceive him or something? Oh, what like, about my pet talisman gold? Uh, um, do I have any spells or anything like that? I, I, check I don't think you have any spells. Uh, <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got... So... Um... I'm just gonna shoot them with my acid spray. I'll just kill them all. Like just, we'll just take their clothes, no. loot them. Um, you we could use do, you could use like your mage hand if you wanted to like grab the axe out of his arm, right? Let's do that. Yes, that's perfect. Let me okay. roll this. Sexual persuasion. You don't. We got. <laughs> I don't roll for this. No, no. So you you can cast oh. mage hand. Like you guys see this this um ethereal hand kind of up here near the guy raise, raising the axe and it like grabs the axe and just like pulls it down of him. Um, what are you doing with it? Uh, the I whole crowd, freaking... they like, they look at the axe and they like see it. So what, what's happening with it? Yeah, I just freaking like yeet it to the nether um, <laughs> over the, the nether? mountains. Yes. And but, then, uh, your I, little, do they your know that hands, I did this? Or they just... <laughs> your little hand chucks the axe. It goes like 20 feet falls in the field. He's a there demon! No He's a demon! Here. You're blaming him again? Don't, uh... I know, we just say it, man. Like, talking about, uh, Don't upset the demon, you fools! I point to the townspeople. Yo! I mean, we're in a bad spot here because for us... We are. Just, it's because I mean, of me! Start... It's you told him you, you lifted him and made him say he's a demon. I, I, I saved your guys' life. I like, saved your guys' <laughs> life, man. I don't know what to do with this situation. The hell is man. this? <laughs> All right, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna take responsibility. I'm gonna walk brazenly up and say, "Listen, good towns people. I am a demon whisperer. I will quell the evil within this man's heart." You have no need to kill him. Give me persuasion. I'll give you with advantage because you're role playing really well. Okay. Uh, my persuasion. Are hot right now. My persuasion is plus three. I got a fourteen on my first roll. That'll work. Okay. So you okay, you kind of like gather the crowd. They kind of like hush up, watch you. He can speak to demons. Did you hear that? He can then, speak to demons. Okay. So I'm going to walk up to him. And then I'm going to start chanting slowly. This is the chance. This is the chance. We've got to... I, I need to convince people that this chant, they need to join in and they need to take off their clothes <laughs> to make it work. If they don't take yeah, off take their clothes... Off too, baby. Yeah, you get... You do it oh, well, we'll all take off our clothes and then we'll convince them that they need to do it too. We say everyone... Everyone, you 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 need to take off your clothes. I'm so sorry, but if we don't do this, then that that man's life is gone. He's he's dead. We're all dead. We need to do this. Give me persuasion to get everybody naked. Okay, <laughs> let's go. This is my <laughs> <laughs> all right. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
It's a one. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Um, you you start telling people to take off their clothes. Uh, Rogar over there, like, starts stripping down. Um, they will, they all just look at you and like, is, is, is he crazy? We got we got demon whispers. We got these guys coming in naked. What what in the world is going on? They all kind of like hush up and stare at you. All right. Uh, then I say hi. You see like one of the you see like one of the elderly guys. He like picks up an extra coat and like wraps it up. <laughs> Puts on more clothes. He can leave that on. Yeah, we don't need him to be naked. He can leave it on. That's fine. Um, okay. Oh. Can I? Uh, can I? Okay. I'm gonna keep chanting, and I'm gonna. <laughs> this is so I'm gonna terrible. walk up to the guy, and I'm, are they like? Are they still good with my chanting? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna die. And then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna harsh a bar to hurt a bar to harsh a bar. Uh, it lit the potatoes. And then uh, I'm gonna get to him and I'm going to embrace him. And as I hug him, I'm gonna whisper in his ear, take off your clothes and I'll, <laughs> I'll set you free. Um, one disguise is better than none. Uh, so I, I, I want to basically say, like, Oi, it's the only way. You need to take off your clothes, and you'll be safe. He, he, he down. He's what? He's right on the spot. Strips down. He strips down. I take, I take his clothes. Like and and then, clothes off. And then I fold them neatly, and I hold them to the sky and say, Behold, your lord, your mighty subject. It's no longer evil. This actually works. We need these clothes, so this works. We need these outfits. Cleanse, works. cleanse these. Yeah. These uh, infidels. Um, and then I keep chanting, and I'll do that for two minutes. Can, okay. can Rogar and I join in the chanting and march <laughs> away quietly? Yeah, my, my, my clothes are already off, baby. I'm, I'm chanting. Yeah. I'm going ham. Yeah. Let's go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Your chants are all different. Yes. The bass line. <laughs> It's hard to bring a warlock. It's beautiful. Okay. And then I, uh, I, okay. So then I have one set of clothes that I'm going to pull to two others who seem, can I like, uh, see if anyone's sympathetic or like, like I enthralled? Yeah. Enthralled by it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a couple of people nodding along. Nodding along. So then I look at them and I make yeah, like, I make grouping. fierce eye contact and I say, "Hi, <laughs> lad, lass, quickly, just the lads actually, take off your clothes. We need your help." Um, and then I gesture them over and 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 say, "This man, this man, he's so close to salvation. He needs a little push." If if, if K Witty, sorry, if Rogar and I it get a little bit more intense with the chanting you, would that get us a bonus to any persuasion yeah here? yeah you can roll you can roll persuasion with advantage yes. okay i'll roll too i guess oh or does he just need to roll i roll so, the uh, oh okay. okay so when when you guys do group checks like that um where you guys like help uh one mm -hmm. person will roll and i'll give them advantage um because you guys are like they're assisting them it's kind of how that that works mechanically Okay. okay, first roll is 10 plus 3, 13. Okay, what's your success roll? Four, four, four plus three, seven. Four? Yeah, four. They kind of like back away. Oh, shit. Is, oh, shit. Is he, is he a pervert? <laughs> is he oh, a pervert? Is he a pervert? Uh, that's a fair question. I look at, I look at Ralgar. The fucking... <laughs> they kind of back up away. I gave him the Kato smirk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All okay. Right. You know, I, I've got a plan. Okay. Right. You you keep chanting and moving. You take him in his clothes. I'll flex for the crowd briefly, <laughs> and then Full I'll door run. Full flex it. <laughs> All right. How does that sound? I'll buy you okay. guys time, because if if this gets if this gets nasty, I'll be more likely to survive. So you're gonna flex for the crowd to what? Distract them? Yes, I'm okay. gonna get up on on whatever high thing I can find—a rock, uh, some crate, 
and we're gonna I'm gonna flex like I mean it. I could use the Eldritch Blast like a, on like the the ground to cause like a giant like debris to fly where we <laughs> yeah, can yeah, make yeah, a I'll, grand I'll escape. Yeah, yeah. Um, Baron, you can give me performance with advantage. Alrighty, let's go. Flex like we mean it. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do guys. I'm out of shape. Okay. Yeah. I'm all right. Let's go. Okay. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! Another one. Okay, so it's seven then. Seven and uh, seven and one. We're at eight. You got a one. I got a one. Oh no. Okay. They. Uh, Rogar. They, no, they don't seem no. too. They don't seem too en enthusiastic about your flexing, but like they're intrigued. Um, they're kind of Treat. watching you. Oh, what's going but on? But they like have a little bit of disgust in their face. Like, Ugh. turn on the fireworks, Rogar. It is time. Eighteen, baby. Oh, let's go. Cool. A uh, cloud of a cloud of smoke bursts up. Sorako, Baron, we make our escape now. Grab the clothes. We run. Right. We're going. We're I going. have the clothes. Can I like pickpocket someone's clothes or something? Uh, pickpocket their clothes yeah. from yeah. their clothes. Well, you already put, yeah. you already got the dude's clothes. I got right? one, what but you, you guys uh... don't have clothes. Oh, well, everybody else stripped, right? So I'm sure we got an outfit somewhere. No, 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 no. Only you guys stripped. Oh. Only you Wait, guys stripped. Oh. Yeah, only you guys. Stripped. You didn't. Oh my strip. god. I thought you were with us. I didn't strip. No, well, not me. Well, in the midst of the, the debris, I uh, freaking steal somebody's clothes. I don't even care. You try to like give me a strength check to like try to like push them Flip down them. and pull their and then yeah. rip their clothes. I got you. I got a ten. <laughs> it's not gonna work. You push them down. They like grab them and hold them real tight. You got it. They start it. kicking at you. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just killing them. I don't even. What the hell? What? <laughs> no, you can't just kill. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab, I'm grabbing Rogar. We gotta, I gotta stop him. We gotta just. Leave. I need clothes, man. All this for nothing, Dave. I mean, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need one, one pair of clothes is fine. We can do with one. We can work around it. We'll share. And I, give him a wink. We're not sharing. We're sharing. I am not sharing. We're sharing. My you. sister's name is Sharon. We're sharing. I don't have a sister. Okay, fine. We'll share. We'll share. Right, but we're going now. <laughs> we're sharing Ralgar. Let's go. Um, you guys are able to escape the crowd. Uh, you kind of you you spot Charlie. He's still the door. He kind of has like this look of disgust on his face. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are you guys doing? Um, sure. kind of like gestures you. What are you guys doing? What? Like, we gotta be scoping. You, we can't. You just caused. Somebody almost got burned. Uh, I suppose almost is. Is not the same as not almost. We're, we're okay. <laughs> That's a good point. And we've got some clothes. We've got clothes. And I think they fit. I think we they have fit, clothes. Uh, You're right. We have. I we think have. they fit Sirocco perfectly. <laughs> We're Sirocco. sharing. <laughs> Beautiful clothes. Now, question for you, Sirocco. Um, this is a gala for wealthy merchants. How how do you expect being dressed as a peasant is going to help you get into this gala? Hi, Charlie. Listen, you came to me for a reason. You watch and you learn. Right. You're right. You know, I I shouldn't have second. I'm sorry, Sirocco. You get I'm your sorry. get your man. Let's get out of here. I point to the, the naked fucking dwarf and the seductive <laughs> dragonborn. Um, I mean, I, I think it's in our best interest to scope out the manor. It, it's open for, for passerby. Shit! Setting up for the, the, <laughs> it was open all this time? It, it's open. All right. Like, it's <laughs> open. Then I'll, I, I, just, I just put my head down. God damn it. Why didn't you tell us this first? What? I mean, I thought Why? you guys were going to go around the back and maybe look for some, like, back entrances or some open windows or something. Oh, we, we looked for some entrances, all right. 
Now they all know our faces. Mm. Charlie. I just wanna well, we'll address blast that. Somebody. Stop! Eldritch blasted people! <laughs> They're like these these help helpless peasants, and you're just like eldritch blast. <laughs> Bro, we we have we have given them PTSD for life. Yeah. Man. It's like don't even. <laughs> that one guy is gonna get massacred because someone thought he was a demon because we picked him up because he was slightly <laughs> ugly. Poor guy. And then we um, save him. So then we save him. They can't right. take it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, I'd say it's been a productive day. At the very least, we've got that going for us. All right, you know what? I'm I'm just um, gonna Charlie... walk into the manor. Charlie leads you guys inside the manor. Um, you guys enter in, and you guys enter in the, to this this largest room. You can tell it's the largest room in the manor. It's a large ballroom. So there's a, a really high ceiling. Um, there's a lofted wooden stage at one end, and there's this large dance floor is dominating the room and it's gleaming almost mirror like you can see a couple of like the house servants down on their hands and knees like polishing like their life depends on it um you can see uh um who's obviously lord sykar he's kind of there um barking orders um Kind of directing people this way and that as as they're set as up should. for this event, yeah. Um, Psyker himself, he's a clean shaven, well dressed but scrawny halfling. He has dull red hair; it's parted on the left, uh, framing his rosy cheeks, um, his bright smile, and his distinctive twinkle, his vividly violet eyes. Um, I'm gonna kind of like can I, over at you guys. Can I uh nudge Baron and be like <laughs> your people <laughs> After I'll give him a little annoyed look. But then you know what? You're right. <laughs> let's go and let's use this. I'd like to go over to him and Suggest, you know, I, I heard there was a commotion earlier, quite a commotion, and probably you need some security. You can't be trusting these these tall people. They're they're not to be trusted. Oh, why? Uh, why? But but Tony's clock secured. I, I already, they were just here. In fact, um, security is already taken care of. It's okay. We have security taken care of. Um, how can I help you, gentlemen? No, no. You you may think you have security taken care of, but I mean, there was a massive scene. A man nearly died earlier. He nearly died. Can you believe I... that? The crowd were chanting. There was there was nakedness. There was fire. There was a man flew in the air. I mean, you this... don't have security. I can sort you out with security. No, no, no. This what you're describing. Look, this is this is. This sounds like a peasant issue, okay? If you wanna, if you wanna take this up, I have, I have. You can go, you can go talk to Tony Squawk Security. That's uh, I've hired them now. If you, if you'd like to join the security, you have to. You look. You can go talk to Miles. Miles is his name, okay? Wait, he's wait, in wait, of Tony wait, wait. Squawks. Can I, uh, can I uh, pickpocket him while he's distracted? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Give me, give me sleight of hand. Uh, sleight of hand. Is plus six. Fourteen. Plus six is twenty. Okay. Um, you pickpocket him. Uh and he's he's so like caught up in talking to Baron, he doesn't even notice. Um you reach into like his back pocket and you pull out the small key ring. A key ring? A key ring. It has two keys on it. Shit. Alright, I keep it. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to ask. Uh, let's ask the Lord. Well, give me a give me a letter of introduction, and you'll see no more security problems. I look, look. Miles, Miles is in town. Um, I I think he's staying across from Half Mast Tavern. Um, they're they're reputable. Can they're, I? They've provided security in the past. Now. Uh, I've never had a problem with him, so... I'm going to lean in close and in a hurried and hushed tone, let him know. 
but I want to, I want to put a bit of fear in him for this. You know, there are people who will kill you. They will kill you. And they don't want to just kill you quickly. They want to kill you in a slow and painful way. Now, I have contacts around here. But if you don't let me help you, if you don't let me help you at all, <laughs> it's it's going to be it's going to be brutal. You should you should definitely let me help you. I yeah. then look at him. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah. I look at him and I stare down his soul as my eyes become bloodthirsty red. <laughs> I put the fear of God in his heart. Hey, you guys, and... I guess give me an intimidation. All righty. Yeah. Let's go. 14 plus 5. Plus 5, Ooh, 19. That's good. 19. Um, you get like a, a glint of fear and it's like, now, now, now look, uh, um, a, a lot of people want me dead, okay? I, look, I'm a wealthy merchant, I got a lot of money, I know people want me dead, um, but, well, look, if you want, if you want to meet Miles, like, I can introduce you to Miles. Uh, just look. look. That sounds sensible. Let's look, meet Miles. Look, and he like holds up the flyer. Anyway, like point. But, but look, it says the Tony Tony Fox security on the fly. Look, I I can't change. You know, this is big all events. Um, um. If you want to, if you want to get in security, you got to talk to Max. A wise man. Well, I suppose that's what we're doing then. Um, I I, um, I'll I'll send Helga Hel Helga to go fetch Max. Um. Uh, Town's like 30 minutes away, so uh, maybe an hour. I, I, I don't know. Depends on how help is. Look, I got a lot of things to worry about right now. Um, it, I gotta go. And it <laughs> kind of like rushes off to go direct more people. Can I... Uh, Let's take a look at those keys. Yeah, can I uh, like look around and see where the keys might potentially lead to? Yeah, yeah. Um, as you guys explore, going off to the ballroom, um, on one side, you get the smell of the bread coming through. Um, you hear hear uh, pots and pans kind of banging around, um, indicating that it's the kitchen. Um, and in the very back of the ballroom is like this kind of uh, dark wood door. Okay. Is there um, anybody around? Everybody's pretty busy. So the, the house servants are polishing um, the ballroom floor. Um, Lord Sykar is going around. He's already yelling at somebody else um, to get doing their stuff. Um, it seems seems like nobody's paying much attention to the individual actions of things. Okay, then I'm going to... Sirocco, gonna... burn. I desire nourishment. I smell bread. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we must feast. All right, so I guess we're just going to just disregard that for a second and go get some bread. Okay. Um... You guys enter into a large kitchen. It's one of the few manor, few rooms in the manor made of stone, not brick. Um, against the full length of one of the wall lies a series of wood-fired ovens and stovetops. Um, there's two great islands set in the middle of the room. There's silver knives and cookware reflecting light off one another. Uh, the prep area is orderly, with thick wooden chopping boards and ceramic bowls neatly arranged, ready for work. Um, there's ragged pieces of paper attached to cork board mounted on the wall next to the large iron double door that leads into presumably a cold storage. Um, the air in here is, is mixed with fresh produce and like things like earthy potatoes. Um, there's a slight chemical hint of cleaning products. Um, you, uh, somebody give me a perception check as you enter. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, I'll do it. Perception? Uh, plus five, yeah, plus five. Four, plus five, nine. Nine? Nine. Okay. Um, you notice there's a bunch of kitchen staff and humming about, um, and there's this, uh, who you can make out to be the head chef. Um, mm -hmm. it's this woman whose, um, advancing years are disguised by her youthful skin. She has like a radiant glow to her. Uh, she has silver hair, um, and like a simple bun. Um, 
you can see like a symbol on her on her apron that matches uh like imprints on the bread like little flower imprints um okay you can tell that she's like not afraid to get her hands dirty she's very weathered in the kitchen um Ooh. but she still has like this glowy work um she kind of like takes a look over you um and begins like chopping resumes chopping um what do you want kitchen's busy um to me we desire your or... bread yeah as you oh. guys enter in she like glances up what what do you want we are famished feed us what? face the wrath of rogar <laughs> <laughs> he makes a good point she like holds up her chef knife now that's no way to talk to a chef Slams it down on her board. Oh, y'all yeah, know what time it is. Eldridge. What uh, are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you, oh, do you Eldridge bro blast her? No, I just, I just threaten her, bro. Like, my, my staff is lighting up. I'm about to <laughs> shake the place down if she doesn't kill some freaking oh, bread, Jesus. man. Jesus Christ. So, intimidation, oh, right? Man. It's plus four. I'm rolling. <laughs> I got sure. 11. All right. You guys, you look like you're, you're, you're too much work for what you're worth. Um, and she like tosses you a loaf of bread. Many thanks, Mel. All Her right. name Mel? Ma'am? I don't know. Oh, I just split, we split the bread into thirds. We each... You Where's share? The butter? Hold no, on. We're sharing. Where's my butter? Where's my butter? Um... <laughs> Are you seriously <laughs> complaining about no butter? You just stole that bread. So draw, bro. Uh, she just like like scoots slides it across All right. the uh, the island. Just this little butter. Yeah. Thing. Oh yeah. Delicious. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> since we've got it now, pass the butter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go over to the the. Is she pretty? Um. I mean, she's pretty aged, but yeah, she's pretty. I'm gonna go over to the she's pretty lady and and apologize yeah. for. For Ralgar. Slaughter piece of gold, bro. I'm just going to eat bread and sit quietly and question my life choices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over and say, I sorry lass for me friend. He's quite hungry, he hasn't eaten in seven years. Where's the meat? <laughs> it's okay, I know the type. I'm I'm I... I'm used to it. I apologize. So, what do you mead. what do you do in this uh, this kitchen over here? Head chef. Head chef. chef tea leaf. How long have you been here, service. lass? You say? Did she say tea leaf? Tea leaf, chef tea leaf. That's my oh, name. Oh, chef tea leaf. Oh, I say ah, I'm a chef myself. Oh, are you? Oh yes, and I I shore my knife. <laughs> It's okay, knife. Oh yeah, it's just okay. Um, she points above the door, and you see this beautifully crafted, like Damascus steel knife. Um, it has <gasps> these like red etches of symbols you can't quite uh, discern. Um, yeah. Now that's a knife. Uh, do, would enjoy. I would I know if that's a magic item? Um, give me. Give me perception. Uh, or, or yeah. Arcana. You can use Arcana if I don't have Arcana. Whichever one you want. Arcana's plus zero. Perception is plus five. Okay. I got a two. I'm feeling wholly unimpressed by this knife. And <laughs> um, also a little bit a little bit bruised ego. I'm carrying around this magnificent axe. Oh right, you have a magic item. Wait, do I have a magic item? No, no, not magical. Magnificent. Oh, Great magnificent. Oh. Um, and so you can't tell if it's... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'd like to slam this down and say, now, tell me about this axe then, hmm? To me or to her? Um, yeah, to, to her. What could I quick? cook with this? Uh, real quick. Um, Sirocco, 
Uh, yeah. You can't tell if the, the knife is magical. However, like, there's a nice glow to these etchings. And, like, uh -huh. there's almost, like, red wisps coming off the wooden handle. Oh. Um, she kind of looks... Ah, my sex. Looks like it's good for uh, butchering an ox. What's it doing on my cutting board? She like... I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I just, the moment took me. <laughs> I just put my axe away. Just, I just, I, did, I don't know why I did that. Rogar, Rogar, is there any bread left? Uh, I ate it all. Sorry. Oh, okay. they're flirting. <laughs> okay. I'm over here getting my nourishment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep making friends with her i want i say i tell me about that friends i want to be friends with her the pretty it's old lady we don't have time for this hi <laughs> eat your bread fatty <laughs> would you like some butter <laughs> yeah you said you used it all up hand it over <laughs> yes i'm like in his pocket give me that. Bread is gone. there is butter give me give me the butter um... Where's the cholesterol it's my that's my prize knife I've had it 12 years. It's from the dwarves up north. How come you aren't using it? Ah, it's too precious to waste on cooking like this. Well, then what do you use it for? These days, it's a symbol of a time past. A time when I used to work for the dwarves. <sighs> so nothing? <laughs> you don't, you don't use you it for anything? For? <laughs> it's just a reminder. I need to know, who did you work for? Which dwarves did you work for? Um, the Stonehold clan. Who? A name. <laughs> Gimli. Now, I haven't read through the backstory you gave me, Dave. So I can't remember the oh. name of the place because you didn't give it to me until five minutes before session. So if That's the place true. is called Stonehold... I'm retconning that, and I didn't say so. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What are you retconning? Um, so she said Stonehold Clan, Stonehold mm -hmm. Clan of, of Dwarves. I can't remember the name of that place that you said that you're from, um, uh -huh. but Stonehold is the clan name. Unless, okay. unless your town name is Stonehold. I can't remember what that's called. I, it I no was close. To... It was Stonehold. Okay. Um, so it's not the same. They're they're cousins of uh, of the group that settled Stonehall, but Stonehall oh. is further north. The icy further mountains. North, huh? All all of their all of their forgings help keep warm in the icy winter. Dumps in the deep. I don't know if we can trust this person. Do you say that? It's a, yeah. Really? To her face? <laughs> no, to you. Oh, to, to you me. Okay. Guy. All right. <laughs> just, just, just like, I don't know if we can trust you. <laughs> Where are you from? Oh, yeah, I'm from here. I don't know if we can trust you. <laughs> no, no. I said yeah. that to you. Okay, okay. And Rogar. And Rogar. Okay, Rogar. What are you? What's going on, man? Um, what are we trying to, trying to get some info off this lady? What are we doing? Well, here's I'll, I'll here's what I'll say to the lady. I'm I'll be saying like, I don't think she's trustworthy. I think she's not trustworthy. Um, at Rogar, all. give me give me an insight check. Insight check, I got you. Yep. I got an eight. Do you have a plus or anything? Uh, uh, insight is plus two. Okay, you got a ten. Um, so you see you see Sirocco and Baron uh, talking to this elf chef. Um, Ooh, she and she hmm. she seems enthusiastic in what she's saying, and she seems um, like an honest um, person that has passion for her craft. Hmm. You notice that's like a third woman. party. Yeah, I I believe her. My <laughs> intuition tells me she's not lying. Then uh, I'll be like, all right, you know what? It's been a while since I've seen such a skilled chef as such as yourself. How about well, join us on our journey? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come with us. Feed us. <laughs> I say, huh? Jesus, not a, not a terrible idea. 
all right, fine. Did, does he say that? Let's just say he says that. Grant me many sons. Wait, this escalated quickly. What? <laughs> Where did that come from? I'm a. Uh... I'm flattered by your friends, but this is my kitchen. This is my home. Okay, then I say hi. No problem. I was kidding. He was kidding. We're all kidding. It's a joke. It's all, it's all fun and games. <laughs> it's fun and games. Uh, what I was really going to say is, why don't we have a cook-off? It'll be fun. We can cook for your, what's his name? Lord Psyker? Psyker? Is it Psyker? 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 Lord Psyker? Psyker? Psyker. We'll cook him a feast that he'll never forget. And we'll make it a friendly competition between you and I competition. and my Losers minions. Loser perishes. Loser perishes. Loser perish. <laughs> so he's joking. He's joking. Don't believe a word he says. Wait, what? Um, I'm intrigued. Friendly competition in what way? Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, sorry, no, don't hang on, don't hang oh, on. Oh, don't hang on. Okay. What did, so what happened, Shio? Um, she cook, she right? looks intrigued. What kind she of looks intrigued competition and do you say, have in mind? Well, I used to be a chef myself. In fact, I am a chef myself. I've told you this already, so you know. How about... Did I have a specialty, Shio, or something? Uh, I'm sure you do. Wrong. Jeez, I have a specialty. Uh... Make frog legs. We'll find some frogs out there somewhere. Kill them. Cook them up. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Sure, frog legs. I say, uh, well, I've given you the idea. Uh, perhaps the next step is up to you. I give her a wink. And a gentle caress. Oh I don't caress her. Just a wink. She's Are you been, hitting on my woman? <laughs> um, I'm always down for from the competition with another chef. Uh, what would you wager? Oh, hey, what would I wager? Uh, does Ragor have anything on him that looks of value? I take off my clothes. He takes off his clothes. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> <laughs> then I, you know, I'll say, I'll say, uh, we, I, some gold in the line. I don't know. I wager uh, one night with my friend here, the scaly one. I point to him. Yeah. I, that's, ha! I'm not interested. Roll for seduction, what? no. I'm, y'all know what, y'all know what's happening. Don't blast her! I'm, I'm, I get in front of Raga. I'm about to. I say, I say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I was kidding, I was kidding. And then I say, yeah, he's mine. Um, and then I say, all right. And I, uh, do I have any items on me that are cool? Um, cool. I mean, you got your chef knife. Chef knife. Cool. Aye, okay, you know what I say? I say, uh, okay. Well, you see, here, a, a skilled chef such as myself doesn't travel often. Um, I'm not well equipped. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how that made me laugh. That's a lot uh, of information. Yeah, yeah. So, well. Dave, I was shaking the dice, bro. Hold on, oh, man. Oh, yeah? yeah? One. What is that? Was... <laughs> one month. <laughs> Of me oh, services is what I wager. <laughs> I, I'm just One saying. Month. That looks so bad. Look, man, let me just, look, I got my let me just link look, it. Man. I was down here, look, I'm just shaking, you know, shaking the dice, bro. What are you talking about? Shaking the dice. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. <laughs> the loser still perish. <laughs> <laughs> and if you win? I uh, say, hmm, 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 diddly dee, hmm, diddly dee. Uh, I look around the room. The knife, the knife. And I hear Baron saying the knife. And I say, well, what do you have to offer? And I, I do not allude to the knife yet. <laughs> um, I have a month's service. I mean, really, I just have my knife. I say, all right, how about a month's service and that knife you got over there? Mm. 
you know, I bet I'm a better chef than you. You're on. <laughs> okay, cool. Great. We did it. You're on, lass. Give Ragnar um, a wink. Okay, so Probably you, so Sirocco and Chef Tea Leaf are going to have a cook-off. Um, it'll probably take, take the hell. We're about to get destroyed, bro. It'll take him a couple oh, of hours. Oh, sorry. I thought I was muted. Is it going to happen tomorrow or today? Or um, are we doing it for no, no, Chef, yeah, yeah. what's his name? Or Psyker? If it's just a friendly competition, it'll be... She starts, like, gathering mise en place. Oh. Hmm. Uh, here's the cutting board here. Um, I'll let you name the dish. And uh, we can begin cooking. Um, okay. Baron and Rogar. Uh, Chopstick. They kind of, like, uh, clear out the kitchen a little bit. Um, you see Charlie back and like, like starts wandering towards the the barroom. Um, just uh, so, can I talk to Baron and and Rogar and say like I yeah. I'll distract uh -huh. him. This should be this should be a spectacle for the eyes, uh, and then um, uh, perhaps you should look around and I'm gonna pass Baron the keys that I pickpocketed and say I stole these off of Stiker. What's his name? Psycar. Psycar. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I don't know this. Yeah. Hmm? Where does these keys lead to that you stole? I said, I don't know. I just stole them. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing this cook off? Any... I didn't. Uh, Do we... you ask that? We want the knife. I want the knife. Want and the it's, knife. it's a distraction. I'm, s I'm, yes. I'm helping you and me. 10,000 gold. I'll go out and find some frogs. How many do uh -huh. you need, Sirocco? Are we doing frog legs, Shio? I thought you were doing, doing frog, frog legs. You can do frog legs, yeah. Oh, shit. Is she doing frog legs, too? Yeah, yeah. She'll match whatever you're doing. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. Uh, then I... Well, that means we, we got to do we gotta do the, the Chub, Chublandia the heritage ch dish. Yeah, what is that? Oh, yeah. you're the native. You uh, I'm the it. native. You guys aren't natives. <laughs> you're uh, absolutely the Chublandian, the uh, most native Chublandian. Okay. Um, Jesus. Then uh, we'll have frog legs on the side, and the dish will be. Um, jeez, I don't even know. What's a good dish? What's a good food? We're gonna have uh, K. Woody's favorite. We're gonna have uh, tomatoes and butter. <laughs> To bread with butter. <laughs> We're gonna bread yeah. With butter slaps, we'll do uh, we'll do we'll do a delicious bread with butter. We'll have a. We, a, we need some meat though, like bread with butter you know, with with meat. Well, real milk. Yeah. We did get told yeah. that an ox. We've got a good chopping thing for an ox. Okay. All right. Ox bread with butter. How about that? Ooh. Ox bread. Ox bread with butter. Ox, ox bread with ox yeah, butter. Ox, ox meat, you know what you mean? Yeah. Can, ox bread? Like, like, How are we going to make bread out of ox? Ralga, you're the going to have to milk the ox before Ooh. you kill it. Oh, God. Ooh, yeah, we give them milk to drink for dinner. Um, yeah, ox, ox milk. milk. High in protein or something. Fiber, um, yeah. Vitamin E. Vitamin High in ox. High in ox. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like ox steaks. That's a bad, Ralga. Get me some frogs. An ox and milk it before you kill it. I can uh, cook the uh, the ox with my uh, my blast Eldritch. Blast. No, I say no. Nay, <laughs> nay, nay. <laughs> Eldritch ox steak. Mm. That sounds okay. that sounds exotic. I'm gonna take my knife out and start throwing it up in there and catching it. Okay. Um, you see a couple of servants leave, and then a few minutes later they they come in holding like a little basket they already have their ox butchered and frog legs gathered mm -hmm. see her start prepping well they've already gathered it yeah it took a couple Ooh. minutes hurry boys all right. all right uh i'd like to attempt to just chop this ox into four big pieces you gotta milk it first, yes, I say. For, I point we, to we Ralgar. Have to gut it first, bird. Milk it! <laughs> milk, milk it! Milk it! I don't know how to milk an ox. Jesus Christ. Just, I'll do it. Okay. 
<laughs> wait, wait, I've got an idea. Rogar. Magic yes. hand milk. Oh yeah, I can use my uh Mage my hands. sorcerer. Are yeah. you gonna, you gonna make hand the milk? Yes. Does that That's make the right. milk better? It'll make it oh, fancier. Bro, it just... We got to yeah. I'll I'll gather everyone's attention. No one will have seen this before. Magic milk. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, so you guys are gonna go outside in the back of the manor and you're gonna gather the peasants from the field to watch you milk the same peasants that I'm just oh, checking. Shit. The same peasants? There's Aren't only like 12 farm hands, and went home? There's only like 12 of them. Uh, oh, we can't do that. We can't do that. We'll, <laughs> we'll be caught. We'll be caught. They'll know. The, the whole thing will be done. Can I kill them now? Jesus. <laughs> no, just you get can't rid of that. Them. Solves the whole solution. All right. Well, what do we do? Um, let's see. I guess we just quietly magic milk it indoors. Yeah, so little you can stealth. You can I mean, stealth I magic milk it. Sure. Yeah, this invisible hand just milking a cow. Can I? Can I? <laughs> can I request <laughs> one of their assistants or something? Shio. Yeah. I say, I right, come with me, boy. We need to get ingredients. You're my helper. All right. So who's, help. who's butchering the ox? Me. Uh, a Davis or well, Baron. Baron. Okay. Give me. I'm milking. Give me a nature check to see how well oh. you can cut, um, cut some meat. A nature check. A nature check. How well do you know your ox? Uh, where's nature? God. <laughs> where's the... Where's the nature? It's all in um alphabetical order on, on your page. Yeah. yeah. In skills. Oh, it's yeah, in skills, sorry, just, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh god, I've got minus one. Okay, this is fine. Let's go. <laughs> oh Let's god. Go. It's gonna be masterful. Uh, you first good see. roll, come you've on. Not seen, five. You've, not, you've not seen dwarf dwarven fine great axe butchery. I rolled a two. <laughs> it's a one. Why? Okay. Rip the ox cut, bro. Can I? Do I know that he butchered it badly as a chef? Yeah. <laughs> you'll, yeah. You'll be able he, to tell. he hands you the meat. It's just like mangled. <laughs> like you're already off to a bad start for this meal. So I right, watch this dog feed. Do it again, uh, uh, Baron. I like. I try and force a smile. Maybe you should have milked. Convince him that it's it's actually fine. This this is actually just a new novel way of cutting. Uh huh. Uh huh. I I look to the sky and say, Ah, my lord, what have I become? We could make ox stew now instead. No, we're we're set on the dish. Oh okay. <laughs> god. Well. Uh, I mean, we could butcher another ox. You gotta milk we it first. Milk. Go milk it first. Again? I already milked it. I milked you don't need it. Oh, milk. do we got magic milk? Yeah, we got enough milk. Yeah, yeah we got, magic. You got protein rich <laughs> ox Thick milk. Thick, long, long milk. Ox we... milk. So they're they're gonna be butchering an ox, right? Could we could we steal theirs? Replace it? Swap them? Ooh. The cuts of meat? Ooh. Wait, say that again? Could we like swap out the cuts of meat that we've got for the ones that they've done? Um, as you Are poke your back into the kitchen, um, she's it's already terrible. like steering off meat. Oh, she's already doing oh, it. Oh, she is killing it, bro. Okay, that's off Soraka, the table. We're going to lose. She's too good. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so <She's> I <masterful. laughs> go get me some proper meat, boys. What are you useful for? <laughs> oh jeez! Wait, you said earlier there was a sheep outside. No, ox meat, ox yeah, milk. No, was no, there no. Other animals outside? Hi. <laughs> We're you not changing to recipe. This is the recipe. Go get the food, or I'm going to. I'm gonna. Jeez. Look, hear me out. No one will know. We'll just say that we've we, we've flavored it. It's it's a whole. It's a whole new sensation. And look, I'm covered. I'm coated in ox guts. I'm coated in blood. No one will recognize me for a moment. I'm going to go outside. 
I'm gonna scream and shout and scare off the peasants, and then I'm gonna get a sheep, and we'll bring that back, and it'll be fine. Shio, do I know if I could make it taste better if I use sheep? It'd be different. It'd be different, but could I make it better? Like, could um, could we turn this into an advantage somehow? We got we got to roll it, baby. With with enough with with the right amount of spices, maybe yeah. Okay, all right, then okay. I'll say, hi. Listen, we've got one chance here. Otherwise, I'll be a slave for one month. <laughs> Do right. your best. Don't Let's fuck it up again. To listen to me. Here, I need. I'm gonna hand back the keys. I'm handing back the keys to to Sirocco because after I give you these keys, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna run screaming and I'm going to butcher <laughs> a sheep in front of everyone and then I'm going to throw the sheep inside and then I'm gonna run screaming out of here until I can find somewhere to wash and sneak back in. Oh, so, all right. <laughs> you, you do what you want to do. A crazy dwarf. <laughs> okay. Dave, you, you exit. It's pretty easy to find one of the sheep. Give me a nature check to butcher this sheep. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Let's Dave, go. Roll something good, man. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just one good roll. Just one. <gasps> I'm gonna get. Let me just get my camera. I'm gonna to move my camera for this. Oh God. <laughs> because otherwise, there we go. There we go. Hang on. I need you to see there. Can you see that? Can you see that dice? I can see it. I don't know what's on dice. it. Yeah. Hang on. What does that Focus say? Damn you. Focus. Is it a one? Is it really? 20. <gasps> it's a 20. Oh! It's a 20. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Okay. Say praise oh, be cool. to Baron. <sighs> I love it when a plant Shall I milk this sheep too? You know what? It's already I dead. I enjoy the milkings. <laughs> oh. Okay, um, Baron, you are able to masterfully butcher the sheep, um, <laughs> Go for giving me. wonderful sheep flanks and whatever whatever Ooh. cuts of meat you desire. You, they, you are just I'm the not, master. Not, you're not, in the moment. You're in the zone. You're in the butcher zone. So, I need to get that to to Mister Sirocco. So, <laughs> all right, Sorko, you got to cook it perfectly, bro. You got to roll seven. a twenty. Cook it. All right, you're right. Yeah. Um, Sorko, so you see, you see, Baron bring back um, some beautifully cut uh, pieces of sheep, and mm -hmm. Rogar, Rogar hands you a pail of like this thick, weirdly viscous kind of like. It's getting worse. He says it's milk, but uh, you as a chef know that ox are are not. Oh no! Female animals. No 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 no! Rogar, <laughs> what did you do? What did I milk, bro? What, what did, did I... you do? I, I... bro, don't Sorry, drink just this. A don't just use it as gravy. Don't drink okay. this. Right. Oh my god! Sheep gravy. Oh god! You know what I say? I say taste this. Tell me what it is. Taste I this. Not Taste this. That. I will. I'll just. Blow, I will blow this. You don't. You think it's milk, though. You think it's milk. I do not think it's milk. You think I it's milk. milk. Penis. Uh, it's <laughs> not milk. That's not milk. What are you talking about? <laughs> what did you? Hi. <laughs> <right. laughs> what the fuck? So you know what you're giving me. No, I. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, which one is I it? I was milking it, man. Y'all yeah, you milked these. it. What is right. this? Tricked you. I, I milked the penis. Yeah, okay. Y'all was like, yeah, we need milk, man. Like, and now you say it's not a female. What is that, man? I didn't know. In this spot. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what a. Oh, my God. Chill. I'm, I'm not. I'm not drinking this. I'm not. No. Chill. <laughs> You're not doing this to me. Then I, I say, I. Right. <laughs> I say, <laughs> I drink it, man. I say, hey, <laughs> Rogar, get me some real milk. And I point him to a sheep. 
in the in the pasture. Okay. All right. And then good. I'm gonna keep that. I'm okay. gonna keep that in my pocket for later. In your pocket? In your keep pocket? It, like in a, in a jar in a pocket or <laughs> like something. Like a little jar of yeah. Ox. Of ox, ox semen. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll uh, tap it and be like, this is for later. That's his pocket cream. Yeah, pocket cream. Uh, <laughs> we'll use that for something else later. Mm. I don't know. We can sell it. Produce more oxen. Freeze it. You know what I'm going to try and do, actually? If there's any opportunity for me to slip that into their dish, I'm going to take it, Shio. <laughs> okay. I agree with that. Tell them it's ox gravy. Ox gravy. <laughs> <laughs> you know that clip from before now has new context as oh well. Oh my god! <laughs> that the, the ox. Yeah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> um. Okay. So I think what we'll do for the actual cooking is someone's got to clip that. I'll clip have. Take that. I'll have you do performance against her. We'll do three checks Ooh. each. Mm -hmm. Um. Does the sheep give us any advantage? Or are we I'll doing for roll, the, the? I'll let you roll a sleight of hand to maybe when she's grabbing some more vegetables or something to mm -hmm. to cook with uh, to slip it into her dish. Okay, sleight of hand is plus six for me. Go. Uh, uh, I get three or just one. Fourteen. So 20. Plus 6. Yeah. Hey. hey. So one of them I will roll with disadvantage. Okay. Okay. So we'll let's do a little roll off. Oh, okay. Okay, so now it's time to roll. What do I yeah, what yeah. am I rolling? So you guys are you guys are cooking. So we're going to do we're going to do perf I just unplugged my headphones for a second. It's okay. Um yeah, we're going to do performance. Performance. Or, or na nature. Or uh, I don't think I have nature. Let me see one sec. I have. Where is nature? Nature is plus zero. Performance is plus one. Okay, so plus one. All right, here we go. Roll number one is fifteen. Plus one is sixteen. Okay. So you're you're one zero right now. Okay. okay. Roll number two. I'll roll with this advantage. Eleven. You slip in, you plus one. Slip in some ox milk. Into this one. Okay. Okay. Disadvantage. I got a twelve. I got so a. So you're one one. Eleven plus one, so a twelve as well. Okay, so twelve. So you're, out of the three, it's. You need to fail, and she needs to succeed to do a tie. Oh, okay. So last roll. Last roll. Seventeen plus one eighteen. She got an eight. Hey. Um, you cook alongside her. You can tell that she's a, a really good chef. Um, she turns around to grab something out of the pantry. You slip the ox semen into her <laughs> <laughs> into her dish. She doesn't notice. Um, she continues cooking. Um, and at the final, you guys present your dishes. Um, yours looks noticeably better than hers. Oh. This is quality teamwork. Um, she calls in Lord Sykar to come taste. He comes in and like takes. Wait, wait, wait! While hands. while she he she's doing that, can I give the keys to Rogar? Be like, yes. go snoop around, Boyo. Don't milk any more oxes. Right, hand me the keys. I, give, I will do my best. I give him the keys. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, Rogar. So in the ballroom, at the uh, at the one end, there's like this really grand staircase and goes up to an upper floor. Um, you can see uh, a bunch of doors up there. They're all kind of similarly spaced about, like bedrooms. Um, there's one really fancy door though. It's like reinforced steel. And then down in the ballroom, you see this, like, at the back, that dark, like, mahogany wood uh, door that clearly has a lock on it. Do 
you run. You just... All right, I'm going to sneak into this room using the key, very discreetly. The one on the ground floor. Uh, yeah, I'm a. Okay. I'm a go by myself instead of notifying the other two. Okay. I'm just gonna go. Yeah. Do I need to roll you... or anything? Okay. <laughs> Everybody is preoccupied with this this taste test of the uh, the cook off. Yes. Yes. Um, you unlock the door. The gravy. <laughs> and you. Ugh. Enter in, and it's this like administrative room. It's lamp lit. Um, there's two large oak wood desks dominating the middle of the room. Um, there's racks and shelves mounted on the walls. You see pieces of artwork. Um, there's textbooks. There's leather bound ledgers. There's a bunch of miscellaneous files about. Um, you see that the room is busy with the comings and goings of a small trade hub. Um, in the ledger, every penny, an item of goods logged with transactions. Um, it's all like very neatly kept. Um, you see uh, an imposing gray silk door of this like footlocker under foot the locker? desk. Yeah, like like a little safe, but like oh, not like the one store. Of the little ones that you like you. you no, not the store. Not a desk. little. <laughs> Not a little retail chain. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it looks like it... the key fits into that. All right. Well, I'm about to unlock this bad boy. And I am also guarding myself because I do not know what is in this. I'm okay. preparing myself for a Ooh. trap. Um, you open it up and it's this weird like a rune stone. You don't know what it does. Um... But it's obviously either very, very valuable in in some manner. Um, give me a perception check as well. Got you. Uh, let's see. I got 11 plus 2. Um, 13. So you pick up, you, you grab this rune out of this, this lockbox. As you lift your head up, up above the desk, you notice this um, mask on the wall that calls to you and you feel like a pull inside uh inside your body like your your thing that you're attuned to is drawn to this mask something is off about this mask i sense a dark presence from it uh i feel like i should should put it on <laughs> Think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, Shio, we're putting the mask on. Okay, you put it. the mask on. Um, instantly, it transforms from this like uh, rough wooden carved mask to this beautiful, elegant, like um, dark edge lord. I'll say mask. Um, you feel power. I kind of course through your veins. Um, and you can tell that your <laughs> you can tell that your fiend is uh, very happy with this. Um, I've linked an his item what? in fantasy groups. His his, oh. fiend, his he's the pact of the fiend. So his uh, how he draws magic is essentially like a, a a fiend from hell. Oh, like a demon, like a demon lord. Yeah. So he can tell that they're happy. Oh. I feel the power. Was that Kay Witty? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, so I've I've given you a link. You have the mask of the Pact Bearer. Yeah. It will allow you to expend a spell. Um without actually consuming a spell slot once per day so. hey that's a nice mask right there cool so so now what do i just act like nothing happened and go back up to the feast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right well i gotta I'm, I'm trying to decide if i want to tell them what i found or just tell them there's nothing there because maybe this mask is 
Oh yeah. Oh, did I fuse with it or something? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm wearing it. Um, oh, you fuse with guys? the mask? Like it's just on your face now? You ever seen the, the movie The Mask, bro? Like, oh yeah, is that, that's is quite that a you? different yeah, image to the one yeah. I had in my mind just now. But it's kind of uh... yeah, something like that. I don't know. But uh, you guys could probably tell there's something different about me, but you just you can't you don't know what it is. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> You just look completely different. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what is All right, nah, you know what? There's something off Scratch about it. him. I'll just... Uh, I'm looking a I found a mask. Strange. I don't... I don't know what it does, but I feel powerful. Is this during the cooking... You wear me. The cooking session? Fear me. Um, yes. Okay, so you... Uh, you come out. You see Lord Saigar tasting Sir Brock's, um Food, and he was like really pleased. He like chows down a bunch. He's really into it. Um, and then he tastes um, Chef Tea Weave's meal, and he's not very impressed. Kind of like slides out. <laughs> mm. Something's weird about this one. <laughs> Something's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Gravy, bro. I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't quite place my hand on it, but uh, so, 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 uh, something's uh, bizarre with this uh, one. I look at Ralgar. I say, "Can't quite taste. place your hand on it." Care for our taste, Ralgar? Ralgar. Certainly did. <laughs> A bit too much salt. Salt. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Are there judges or anything, or is it just like, what happened? He's the judge. He's the he's the lord. He's the lord. So do we have to stand by our our team dish? Um. Chef T Leaf approaches you, Sraco. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think you would better than me. Word's a word. Um, she reaches up and snatches this little case holding the, the knife <gasps> and hands it over to you. Um, this this knife is a dagger. Mm -hmm. It is um, a magic item. You can quickly prepare fresh cuts of meat from slain creatures. Ooh. Um, with expertise. Um, also, when you attack with this dagger, uh, the person that you hit takes an additional 1d4 of fire damage. 1d4 um, plus 5? No, no, no. So uh, you make a, a dagger attack. Yeah. And you get an additional 1d4 of fire damage. Oh, so on, it burns on top of the sneak attack. If you, yeah, if you got a sneak attack. If I sneak it's attack. Just, whenever you hit with this weapon, you get an extra d4 of fire damage. Yeah. Um, and I'll link it so you can click on it. You can actually just drag that into your character sheet. Okay. Uh, one second. Um, How do I do this? Onto my character sheet. Item. Uh, yeah, if you open up your... your Battlefield you Pact Bear. Item Mass. Battle Chef. Field dresser, that one? That one. I just drag it on. Didn't do anything. Oh, uh, here I got you. Um I'll drag it on to the She she kinda like leans in close. She's like, you know, you're you're a really good chef. Wait. You you've proven yourself today. I'm not sure I have it. Uh did I give it to Charlie, not you? Maybe. No, I gave it to you. It's right there in your inventory. Oh, not in my equipped hand shit inventory ah <gasps> i do how do so i you would just make uh you would make an attack with a dagger yeah and you would get an extra d4 can i equip this somehow um there's not really any equipment like okay but you're when... rolling with your d20 right so if you hit with your d20 when i say roll damage you would roll 1d4 plus four plus an additional d4 of fire okay all right okay um and i I don't add that to actions or anything. I just leave that, right? You just leave it. Okay. Just extra. All right. So I get an extra 1d4 with that weapon. Correct. All right. So what did she um, say? So she she leans and she's like, you've, you've really proven yourself to be quite the chef. Um, look, I'm, I'm actually catering an event tomorrow. How do you feel about uh, helping out in the kitchen? helping out in the kitchen so is it so the deal was the dagger and one month of service so she is like serving me for one month is that correct the, 
No, no, the deal was you would either, if you failed, you would work for a month. If you won, you got the dagger. Oh, okay. And then I say, all right, lass, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, you are a fierce competitor. But, well, I'm no better than you. Do you know why? And I'll look at her and wait for an answer. Why is, why is that? And I'll, I'll look at Ralgar and I'll say, well, have you ever milked an ox? Why would you ask me that? No, I, I, say, I say that to her, not him. I want, I want uh, him to be able to hear. At, yeah. She looks at you and she's like, I mean, when we hire a new, new kitchen hands, we, we say that's a joke because you can't milk an ox. <laughs> yeah. Does he hear me? Does he hear her? Yeah, yeah. How's, how's that gravy for your, your main dish? <laughs> what I just say? Do you know what that was? All right, tell me about this job you got, about this um, this catering. It's, it's a really important event. It's uh, it's Lord Sykar's yearly gala, and I could use a good sous chef for it. You know, you're you're a really great chef. What's the pay? Um, I can pay you fifty gold. Fifty gold. It's much less than ten thousand. You know, I'll say, I'll say, we'll talk, we'll talk. I'm in. These boys are coming with me. They're my ox milking friends. <laughs> I'm not sorry. He loves the ox milk, that one down there, the small one, dwarf. Uh, I'm <laughs> Can't get enough of it. Uh, ox I'm, milk, I'm bro. just going to struggle to hold that laughter in as best okay. as I can. All right. Okay, so I, I, I accept. And then um, do we... Are we just hanging around in his place? And I say, you know what? Can I go talk to Lord Syker or something? Yeah. Yeah. You can. I mean, Syker's just about in, in the ballroom. And people around, so. I also want to talk to Charlie and see what the hell we're doing here. What's this ten thousand gold thing? All right, Charlie. I've, I've somewhat lost track of where we're getting that ten thousand gold from. Where's now? the ten thousand gold? Uh, Charlie, like gathers you all up in a corner away from the guests or away from the uh, the workers okay um, look Lord Sykar he's gonna be selling his prized gem he's oh, gotta yeah. have a vault somewhere in the house somewhere to keep all his all his good stuff is um, this like a public thing do we know like uh that he's he it, this is the reason for this his is, thing this is one of the main events at this year's gala. He's, he's finally selling. He's parting with this prized gem. That's how I heard about it through the Thieves Guild. Um, I was able to pose as a wealthy merchant using a disguise, which is how I got my tickets. I used all of my savings to buy my two tickets. Um, so we know that the, the gem is stored somewhere in the house. In the house. Um, and when is the... On the black market, it's been valued at at least 10,000 gold. 10,000 gold. Um, so we, we need to get the gym, get out of here, and sell it on the black market. So the, the gala is not today. The gala is like another day. Do you know it's, when? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. He like pulls up the flyer and holds it up. 8, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Right tomorrow. Okay, then I'll say, ah, oh, thank you, Charlie. Very helpful. Wish you told me before. Um, and I, uh, I have suspicions that the, uh, the like points up, up to that uh, reinforced steel door up on the second floor. I have a suspicion that that leads to his vault. Like something in the roof? No, no. So, so in the ballroom, it's yeah, like picture this like fancy ballroom. They have like this really nice long stairway up the end and like goes up and you have a second like banister second level uh-huh right so there's a bunch of doors up there one of those are steel reinforced like looks sturdy okay so he suspects that in there that leads to the vault okay so it's not the roof it's it's just the second floor of the, of the estate that leads to the vault and the keys okay so then uh i'll We'll reconvene with with Baron and and Ralgar, 
and say, hey, boys, listen. <laughs> what did we come here for? <laughs> was it not for the 10,000 gold? 10,000 gold. I thought it was for bread. I'll say, oh, there's, yeah. There's been a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Ralgar, could I have the keys back, please? Uh, do, you, do you need those? I, I need... use them for the... Uh... What do you need the keys for? I need, I need the keys, Ralgar. Which ones? Did you use both of them? I did. Oh, he used both of them. I thought um, to yeah. open the door, and then there was a lock, right? I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, he still has the keys, but he's used both of them, yeah. Oh yeah, wow! No, what do you need these for? Yeah. Oh, and I'll say, well, Charlie over there, he says that Tavald might be up. Are they stairs, Shio? To stairs over there. They are, they are, yeah, stairs leading up to a second floor. So, what we could do is we could just go there and break in and see what we find. Or, I could sweet talk Mr. Syker, since I cooked him a delicious dinner with ox milk. And, uh, we could go from there. What do you think? I like that idea. I think, I think that would mm. work. We have gained his favor and trust with your delicious meal with ox milk. <laughs> <laughs> I, Baron, yeah. how yeah. do you feel yeah. about this? How do I feel about ox milk? I'm pretty unsettled, really. But <laughs> other than that, I, I think we can handle it. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, boys. I'll go talk to Lord Syker. Why don't you make yourselves useful and milk some more oxes? No more ox milk for you. No you more. can't be trusted with that. <laughs> you can't be trusted with any of that ox milk. Okay. Okay. So I'll go and talk to him. He's there directing people. So you can just approach him. So hi, Lord Psyker. I heard you liked me meal. Oh, that, 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 was, that was you that cooked the meal. The, the meal was... Oh my gosh. That was such a good meal. Yes. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a good meal. Good meal. I'm glad you liked it. I used a special ingredient. Uh, Psyker. Buddy, old pal. I'd like to talk to you about what you got in the gala tomorrow. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, there'll be dancing. There'll be, there'll be music. There'll be, uh, there'll be food. Um, it's going to be great. Everybody's going to be there. It's going to be the best event of the year. Uh, Does, is it public like knowledge that, that he's selling shit? I uh, heard you're selling some things. Do you care if we could have um, a, a a quick look see? Uh, yeah, yeah. I so I'm 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 selling some some uh, some very expensive stuff. Um, but uh, for now, it's it's no, you can't look. Uh, it's under lock and key. Um, look, uh, it's it's very well secured. I hired uh, Tony Squawk's uh, security group. Um, I, it's you know. I'll say, Psyker, um, Psyker, listen. Do you like the meal you had earlier? I, I did. Then I'll say, what if I told you I could make you even a better meal later tonight, just the two of us? Um, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a good meal, but it was, it was a little spicy. Just the time. two of us, Psyker. You'll never know what hit you. <laughs> give me, give me persuasion with disadvantage. With disadvantage. Ooh. All right. He gonna think yeah. it's something else, bro. He's, he's not he's into really, the arrogance. He's not easy to persuade this All fella. Right. So I he's have rolled fancy. a four, which is probably the roll I'm gonna get, and a thirteen. So okay, I get uh, a four plus something though. Skills persuasion so, plus uh, three, so there's, seven. Uh, there's 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 way too much to worry about. Uh, I gotta make sure. Uh, I gotta make sure the food's good. I gotta make sure that everybody's happy. I gotta make sure that this place is super clean and everything goes accordingly. Look, I, I don't have time to, to do anything. I just, look, things have got to work. Okay. Then I say, all right, fine, fine. You drive a hard bargain, Psyker. Listen. And I lean in close and whisper in his ear. Uh, and I say, ox milk. And I walk away. <laughs> he just kind of like looks at you puzzled. Um, like ponders for a second and just like goes up out of business. Yeah. Um, and as you say that, as you turn away, uh, the door opens up and you guys see a group of 
Tony Squawk security. <gasps> um, a first in is uh, Jimmy. It's all, it's all Jimmy. Uh, hold on, I just closed everything on accident. Okay. <gasps> Um, okay. Sorry, that was a big, a big mistake. <laughs> no, it's okay. What is, a uh, what is, a uh, Baron and... Me, me and Ralph Baron are training in the battleground. You're training? <laughs> okay. Sharpening our skills right, fair enough. for the upcoming travels. Yeah, I'm sharpening my flexing skills. I'm still feeling deflated after before. <laughs> okay. Just practicing. Um, the the first one in is a tall, muscular human. He's wearing a black shirt, trousers, leather jackets. Uh, kind of the collars flipped up. Um, he's got his trademark tan leather gloves on. Um, the fingers and knuckles have worn down by years of use. Uh, there's a few faded blotches of stained blood um, on the leather. Kind of uh, has a gruff commanding voice. Um, a bald head and intense green eyes. Uh, kind of pushes in. Psyker! Why'd you call us back here? Uh, Psychar looks at him, he's like, oh, 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 uh, Tony, Tony Squawks, uh, he, uh, you, you, uh, Sirocco, I think, it's Sir, uh, Sirocco, uh, this is, this is Tony Squawks, uh, you guys wanted to, to talk about security? Here they are, uh, I got, I got things to do, and it kind of storms off. So I'm just a chef, the dwarf is the one you want. He kind of, like, squares up to you, Baron. I haven't really planned this far. You know, I, I, I saw you guys out there. Don't think, don't think we didn't see you out in that field. You, you didn't see anything. You saw nothing. It's fine. We were just doing some security checks. You saw that man floating around. What was that like naked find butchering him? of the sheep screaming? You didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I was. You wouldn't have recognized yeah, me from that. Not. I was coated in coated ox, in blood, ox yeah. gore. Ox gore. Ox guts. Ox it was milk. fine. No one could have known that was me. But I mean, let's just say, I want to say to him, did you really let that slip? Did you really let that man, that, that demon-possessed man under your nose, right as close as that to the man you're meant to be looking after? The man you're meant to be protecting? Look, I, you think that's look, disgraceful? Um, I don't know who you think I am, but uh, I'm not just some some two bit chump. All right, I I clearly saw you know, Winston Circle. Clearly saw a little bit of wind come out of him. I I am on to you guys. I know what you did. I'm taken aback. I said, "How dare you, sir?" Step I'm aside, human. Just a chef. The wrath of Rogar. We're gonna Take grab him. Staff. It lights up. What? God, do that. Yeah. Oh my God! How many are there, Shio? I'll take them um, out. there's five in total. Okay. Oh jeez, no problem. Okay. I can take out all five, honestly, with the Eldritch Blast, guys. <laughs> okay. Well. So what? So what do you want to know about uh, my security outfits? What's up? What's the problem? Wait, are you, like is he be Elden like we Eldritch Blast blasting him? I'm considering uh, he, it. He doesn't really oh. take notice of, of Rogar. He's kind of squared up against Baron. Okay. I see. Well, in that case... Disrespect. Can we goad him? I want to say to him, I think you're and your entire company, they're a joke. You probably couldn't even handle that one warlock over there. I think he would wipe the floor with all of you. In fact, you want to think see? you want to go. I you think you're what? all protecting go. those demon type things. I think that's why you're. I think that's why you're not biting. It gets in your face. Let's do a little push. Oh no, What's he did. Game, little man. Uh, 
I'm gonna kick him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Give me, give me an attack roll. Okay. Oh god. Eight. And plus twenty-seven. <laughs> Actually, how, <laughs> how does how does unarmed work for that? With strength plus six, is that? Yeah. Okay. So fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you kick him, um, or at least you you rear your your foot back and you you let him blow out with your foot. <coughs> uh, perfect aimed, um, and he catches you. Reaches down, he catches your Whoa. foot, twists it. Uh, give me, give me an acrobatic saving throw or a dexterity oh. saving throw. Jesus, can I choose? Or wait, no, that is that's a subset, throw. isn't it? Okay. All right, acrobatics. Let's go. Ooh, got plus two. Sixteen, plus two. Nice. Eighteen. Okay. okay, so he he like twists you and tries to get you like plank on your face, um, but you're able to catch yourself with your hands and like you you push back up and you stand up. Uh, but he completely just derailed your, your kick in the nuts. Okay, but that's fine. We this we can use this. I'm gonna shout out to everyone. Look at this so-called security. The moment he seems like he's not the favorite because this with a retinue of this wonderful cook. Let me gesture over to Soroka. I beam. Oi. <laughs> Who is just talking about setting up for providing even more brilliant food. And this brute comes in, attacking, outrageous, starting, starting trouble. These men are not responsible for security. They can't be responsible for security. Give me persuasion. Okay, let's go. Come on. <sighs> it's a high check, just so you know. Yeah, it's uh, it's five in total. Okay. Um... Dave, I don't think you've rolled over a ten. <laughs> Yikes. I did. I did roll a couple of good. You got a not twenty. Yeah. Did he? Oh, he did. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. You got a twenty on the sheet. That's how you got that meat. Oh, you're right. You're right. You did save okay. us. <laughs> Lend me a hand here, Soroko. Um, he he kind of laughs at you, and everybody in the in the ballroom, um, they Could... all kind of like back him up, and he's like, "Hey, he's he's been security here before. He's." Oh, we you know what I say? Soroko stands up. Oh, God. I yeah. I, I stand up. And say hi. This man, he accused me of being a common thief when I'm a master chef. And I say, outrageous, really? You can't believe any of his claims. A join in. He's been playing you all for fools. Okay. Uh, so, Rocco, you, you can give me, we'll, we'll give you guys one more additional check uh, to persuade the crowd. Okay, I have a plus three. There's a high check. They, uh, they have a work relationship. Wonderful people, believe me. I am Sorocco. 18 plus 3, 21. Okay. Um, you see Lord Sykar steps up. He, no, he no, steps no, away? No, we, oh. No, he steps up. No, no. no. Uh, look, look, guys. We, we, you guys can't be fighting here, okay? Um, um, look, uh, Tony Squawks, has, he's, he's been with us for years. Um, um, look, uh, I, I don't want issues. Uh, I, I know that they are a, a reputable, good group. Um, I, I don't know what the, the issue is here, but uh, shouldn't, shouldn't you be in the, maybe in the kitchen? Um, and I, I don't know about your little friends, but uh, I, I can't have, I can't have issues here. Little friends. So did, do I know if the crowd's on our side? Uh, they, they do not seem to be backing you, um, but they don't seem to be backing him either. Oh no, okay. Um, Baron, you notice uh, you do stand taller than uh, than Lord Sykar, Baron. By the way, don't know if I want to let that comment lie or not. <laughs> okay, I have to say, little friend, you should know better than most. Uh, I, I look, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, and he like he like reaches into his backpack and like quickly slips on some platform. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, uh, <laughs> he like reinterests all of the new. Look, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I, 
I don't know what you're getting at, but uh, clearly you are you are shorter than me. Therefore, um, little little friends is adequate description. I'm flying into a rage. That's that's no flying. He into doesn't rage. like I'm the short jokes. <laughs> I'm sweeping him. Those he's gonna be on the floor. I'm flying in, so we're we're raging and we're sweeping him. Okay. Give I me... stop Baron from doing this. <laughs> Do you want to stop him after your Eldritch Blast all the time? I mean, bro, what are we doing? We're supposed to try to win this guy over. He's about uh, to sweep him, dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> gonna sweep him. He's gonna take him out. If you want to stop him, you can use either strength or dexterity. So acrobatics or athletics. Dude. We'll uh, contest rolls. Okay. Oh, let's I'll do contest it. Athletics. Alright. Yeah. Athletics. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I got a 7 plus 1. I got a 9 Eight. plus 6. Oh my god. When it counts. Oh, well, sweep him. Baron, <laughs> don't do it. It's not worth it. Uh, Morocco, I can't stop him. <laughs> I just... Um, Sorry, boys. His legs go up. His, his platform shoes fly across the ballroom. The whole crowd <laughs> like fixates on him and they like... Um... And he hits hard. Out! Look, look, look! I want you out! You are, you are banned from my manor. I never want to see you around again. You, you have insulted me. You have you trespassed on my property. Miles, escort them off the property. You've already caused this much trouble. We might as well blast them into oblivion. <laughs> Eldritch blast. Blur. I got a three, so. Are you attacking him? You, you. Wait, who are you yeah, attacking? I, I you... shot the whole facility, bro. I don't care. <laughs> Everybody around. I got a three. You, it don't even matter. You whiz yeah. out an Eldritch blast. It hits the chandelier, and like one of yeah. one of the candles like falls and hits against the ground. And now you 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 you're ruining my home. Get out. <laughs> um, twenty squawks around you guys. Uh, Sirocco, what are you doing? You see Charlie like. Over in the corner, like with the crowd kind of like jeering on. Jeering? Oh, what do yeah, you mean jeering? Get, out of, get oh. out of the house. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Charlie. He's like acting like he's not with you guys. Yeah. Um, I just want to. So oh, they're like surrounding us. I'm clearly part of this group, right? Nope. No, I'm not part of. Uh... No, because you were, you were buddy buddy with, 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 uh, with Lord Psycho. And I'll be like, oi, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll join in. I'll be like, get these boys out. Ruining your uh, fine establishment. Uh, Get him out of here! And I'll I'll try and uh, go back into the background uh, towards that door. Okay. With the vault. Okay. Uh, nobody takes notice of you. No. Oh, very good. We will remember um, this. Mm. Sirocco. So that's not my name. I'm Jimmy. <laughs> This works. This this works. You know so, what? So, Miles and the Tony Squawks around you guys. They kind of like all uh, gather around you and, and grab your arms and like start escorting you off the door. I'm not going to do anything other than some token resistance. Okay, Soraka, what are you doing up upstairs? I'm gonna make a beeline for the door as stealthily as possible. Hopefully, no one notices me or anything. Give me a stealth check. Uh, stealth is plus six. A one. <laughs> hey, um, you like, you fumble, you fall up the stairs, essentially. Uh, everybody's kind of hearing as, as you guys are escorted out the door. Nobody really takes notice. Yeah. Um, I say, oh, oh, me heart. You were, you were Oh, ungraceful. My heart, it's like this. I'm not used to such violence. Oh, violence. I'm going to kick up more of a fuss you... now. <laughs> Buy him Actually, some. You, you twist your ankle. You take two points of damage. What? And you can only move at two thirds speed Ooh, until you get no. your ankle taken care of. Oh, no. Serves you right. What are you talking about? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Eldritch <laughs> Blast the chandelier. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Okay, I take two points of damage. Do I need to mark that down or anything? Uh, no. Okay, you got it. Okay. Oh, sure, oh, sure, sure. I just start mumbling on. 
Okay. <laughs> all right, switch, 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 switch. Um, you can get up to the door. You, it is locked. Uh, it does look like one of your keys will fit the lock. I will open and then lock it behind me. Okay. Mm. Um, you enter into um, a long hallway. It's one of the few areas also made of stone. It's above the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, the hallway is cold, dimly lit, narrow. There's a faint smell of old dried moss. Oh, um, oh. At the end of it, you see uh, like a really fancy reinforced double door. Um, next to the door, you see this like brightly colored parrot. Parrot? Sitting on the parrot bird. Okay. Uh, sitting on like a little uh, protruding stick. Thing. Um, I don't say a word. Called. Not a word. Okay. Um, on the door, you notice there's two uh, two chunks that have been taken out that look like you fit like a like a physical thing you put inside to get each side to unlock. Oh no. And then slapped across one of the doors is uh, is a sticker that's Tony Tony Squawks. Security. Oh no. Uh, uh there's no way I could lockpick this or anything, right? No. Rogar and Baron, either of you can make a perception check. A what perception? Mm-hmm. I'll do it. Okay. Oh. I got this. I hope you do. Seven plus two? Nine. Nine? Uh Baron, give me one as well. Alright. Okay, I will roll over 10. I will. I go to four. Okay, uh, you guys you guys get escorted. They they take you all the way out to the far end of the, the driveway, all the way to the gate, and kind of shove you down. Um, as they turn, Rogar, you see on a, a keychain on Miles' belt, a rune swan like the one that you found in the lockbox. And that's where it went. Ah! Ah! Okay, cool. That was cool. That was fun. That was very cool. That was very cool. Well, there's a lot of things I didn't expect to happen happen today. Yeah. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Is that, is that like... Is it possible? Like, what are the chances that we roll that badly? That, that <laughs> much? I don't know. Hey, we got the we got the ox milk. That's all that matters. It is true. <laughs> we got the ox milk. We got the yeah, chan got naked chanting. Topic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do I have some left over? Why do you oh, yeah. still have that? <laughs> Why did you yeah, milk you the ox, K Witty? I didn't milk it, man. You my you acquired it. Hands did it. My my, my hands did it. It wasn't me. It was my hands. The magic hands, bro. Magic, I didn't yeah. touch you physically. Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, thank you, Shio. Uh, 